Like California, higher taxes, more regulations, even funding sanctuary cities. Now Katie Hobbs says she'll use the office to elect more radical leftists. Steve Gaynor will run the office like a business. He'll fix the problems and protect our elections. Steve Gaynor for Secretary of State, because this is Arizona, not California. Get ready to retire the way you want. Do you know why your 59th birthday is so important regarding your 401ks and investments? Because at age 59 and a half, all the rules change. We'll help set you up for success. Oxford Retirement. You remember veterans in the state home, neglected, left soiled and covered in urine with cigarette burns on their clothes. Yet January Contreras knew about the problems for more than a month and didn't report them. That's right, January Contreras mishandled evidence of patient neglect, more worried about bad press than addressing the problems. That's why we won't forget. January Contreras failed in her duties, failed our veterans, and can't be trusted to protect Arizona. Right now, 12 today, Sunday storms bring rain, snow, and much cooler weather to Arizona. But a much different story on the East Coast where many people are waking up to a state of emergency. We'll tell you why. And the Cardinals win their first game of the season. How they got it done against the 49ers. All right, that was a great win for them. They really needed it. All right, good morning. Happy Monday morning to you. So glad that you're with us. I'm Mike Gonzalez. Much different scene outside. Just 24 hours ago, we saw a heavy dose of rain in parts of the valley. Over in the West Valley, fall festivities at the Tomakoff Farms had to be canceled because of the flooding. Meantime, take a look at what happened up north. Arizona Snow Bowl got six inches of snow. Can you imagine? Williams with a couple of inches. Even Sholo seeing some early October snow. And that looks great to me. Coming from the Pacific Northwest, I t this feels so good, Jen. And it I think does. It's a relief for everybody at this point. It is, and you know, I cannot remember the start of a fall like this. Yeah. It has been so long. Usually, we're dying right about now. We're like, when is Halloween <laughs> gonna hit? Because you know, we yeah. wait for Halloween. I feel like this is. I, I feel like this is a sort of like a joke in a way. Like yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for the hot weather to really come back and say, ah, eh, psych. Same. I same. <laughs> I've been checking the forecast. I'm like, okay, so so far yeah. we're looking pretty good. Yeah, I just got back from the Pacific Northwest as well into Central California, and I'm like, man, I brought some nice temperatures with me. You're welcome, everybody. It is gorgeous outside. 60 degrees right now in Phoenix, probably dropping down to the upper 50s by the time it's all over. So a chilly morning. Grab that light jacket as you're heading out the door. Didn't think we'd be saying that so soon. We're in the upper 40s in Winslow, some 30s on the map here. Sholo, Greer, right around freezing. 51, Safford, 58, Gila Bend, 46, Sedona, and upper 30s north north at the Grand Canyon. Your hour by hour forecast here. Let's see how we'll look through the day. So there we go. Upper 56, 7 a.m. Then we're into the low 60s by 9 a.m. By noon, we're only at 71. A very slight chance for some rain this afternoon, but really not too bad at all. We stay nice and comfortable. Just gorgeous throughout the afternoon. It looks like we do have a few spotty showers into northern Arizona. We'll talk more about that, plus your chance for rain and what we can expect the rest of the week coming up. Mike? All right, Jen, thanks so much. We appreciate it. All right, we want to know what you think of seeing snow in early October. Go to 12news.com slash your voice. Let us know. Do you love it? Do you think it's too soon? Did you even know it snowed? Or is the little kid inside of you thinking snowball fight? We'll have the final result, results at the end of the show, so we hope you stick around. And those storms that brought snow up north wreaked havoc on the valley. On top of flooding, officials now say lightning is to blame for two different house fires. One happened in Scottsdale, the other in Tempe. Thankfully, the homeowners were able to get out okay. Team 12's Monica Garcia spoke to one of the couples in Scottsdale as they were still assessing the damage. It sounded like a bomb. The skies were peaceful this morning, but overnight, a lightning show. A bolt striking this home in Scottsdale, causing it to catch fire. They heard it all the way to the end of the street right. behind us. It was awful. Barb and Don Strand were asleep on this side. when lightning struck their attic and igniting the roof of their home just after 4 o'clock in the morning near 78th Street in Chaparral. It was incredible because it shook the whole house as well, and it was instant, and you knew that something was wrong. The smell and the smoke 
started filling the whole house, and it's electrical. So it's very strong, it gets in your eyes, your nose, your mouth. It was bad. They got out and called for help. And uh, people way down the street were smelling it as well, so it must have been blowing down that way, and many of those people came down as well. And Around an hour later, firefighters believe lightning struck this house in Tempe near Kyrene and Ray Rhodes. A man and his two dogs were able to get out of the house safely. You can see the fire caused extensive damage to the garage area and the How roof. How does this make you feel? Back in Scottsdale. Well, you start over. <laughs> I mean, obviously, there's, there's going to be more than six months, they said, that you'll be out of the house. So now it's a matter of planning. and Planning along with gratitude. Got out of there quickly, so we're grateful for that. Just take it a day at a time. <laughs> Let's see. We'll have a new house. <laughs> Monica Garcia, 12 News. All right, Monica, thanks a lot. We're really glad to see they're okay. All right, time now is 434. Let's check some other hot headlines. Hard to believe looking at your screen, folks, but nobody was hurt in this crash in Prescott. Take a look at this. A truck flipped and literally landed on top of a car, according to the Yavapai County Sheriff's Office. The woman driving the white pickup truck says a black truck driving next to her hit her, causing her to lose control and cross into oncoming traffic. She then collided with a car, causing her to flip into the air and land on the red car that you see in those pictures. Miraculously, no one was hurt. The driver of the truck that allegedly started the accident took off. If you've got any information about this, you are asked to call the Prescott Police Department. Tropical storm Michael is picking up speed in the Atlantic Ocean and could become a hurricane. The storm could make landfall as early as Tuesday, packing sustained winds of up to 50 miles per hour. After making landfall, the storm is expected to track through the Carolinas, where many people still recovering from Hurricane Florence. Florida's Governor Rick Scott has already declared a state of emergency in 26 counties across the Florida panhandle in preparation. Well, some happy news from Megan McCain, who announced that she will be back at work and co-hosting The View today, making that announcement on Twitter last Monday, saying she'll be back to work this Monday, October 8th. She posted, thank you for all of your patience and understanding. It's not about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Justice Brett Kavanaugh will be sworn into the U.S. Supreme Court tonight after a bitter fight between Democrats and Republicans. Both sides are already using that to energize voters for the 2018 midterm elections, now less than one month away. For that, let's turn to Team 12's Tracy Potts on Capitol Hill this morning. A public swearing in for Justice Brett Kavanaugh is set for tonight. He's going to be on the Supreme Court with a huge taint and a big asterisk after his name. We must not agonize. We must organize, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi tells Democrats. They're urging thousands who demonstrated to speak out again with their vote in November. If we want to correct the course, what do we need to do? We need to take the power. But Republicans... I am happy as a clam. ...are ready to move on. The overreach of the uh, protesters at the Capitol have actually energized the Republican base. At risk, Maine Susan Collins. She voted yes for Kavanaugh as opponents raised some three and a half million dollars for whoever runs against her in two years. I have to do what I think is right. And over the years, the people of Maine have trusted me to exercise my best judgment. That's what I did in this case. There's talk of an effort to impeach Kavanaugh on sexual misconduct allegations the FBI says were not substantiated. Even some Democrats say that's too much. And I think talking about it at this point um, isn't necessarily healing us and moving us forward. The fallout may depend on which party can turn out the vote less than one month from today. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington. Tracy, thanks a lot. A mysterious light streaking across the Phoenix sky. Many of you called into our newsroom wondering about that bright, slow-moving glow west of the valley. Team 12's Ryan Cody has the answer for us this morning. He's up on the roof of the building. How's it looking up there, Ryan? Good morning, guys. Yeah, a historic launch last night from Vanderburg Air Force Base in Southern California where SpaceX successfully sent a satellite into orbit last night. But sending the satellite into orbit wasn't the part of history. It's what happened after the rocket launch that may have changed the game for all future launches. 
That Falcon 9 first stage should be approaching the ground just about in five seconds here. Let's watch as it attempts to land. That's the first stage booster successfully landing back on the West Coast for the first time ever. SpaceX landing boosters successfully in Florida and in the Pacific Ocean before, but never on land in California. Now they'll refurbish and reuse the booster as part of their goal of reducing the cost of all future launches. Of course, though, all this action in the sky causing quite the commotion back here on the ground where people all over the valley stopping to take pictures, many wondering what they're looking at. All of these pictures and videos taken by viewers in the valley just before 7.30 last night. And what you're looking at is the glow from the rocket launch booster as it sent the satellite into space. So don't worry, you didn't see any UFOs or aliens or anything like that, but you may have seen a large part of history of the future of rocket launches from Vanderburg Air Force Base. We're in Phoenix, Ryan Cody, 12 News. Ryan, thanks so much, really neat stuff there. Still ahead on 12 today, the cost of your prescription can vary dramatically from store to store. Can you believe that? How to find the best price with a little bit of help from technology and your pulse on health. That's going to be at 449 this morning. Plus, hit your hat for a honky tonk good time as we take you everywhere A to Z this week in Cave Creek. You're watching 12 today. You're in an accident. The emergency room doctor says you're hurt, but you already know that because you're in pain. You get home, the insurance company called demanding a recorded statement, which of course they're going to use against you. That's when you call Hastings and Hastings. You know us, you trust us, we've been here. We'll handle everything. And when your case settles, our discount fee means more money for you. This is my career and my life. It is an everyday opportunity to work at a company that supports me. We know you have unique ambitions. Synchrony is here to help you achieve them. We're hiring call center representatives in Phoenix with generous benefits like tuition reimbursement, medical coverage for your whole family, and work that doesn't feel like it. Apply at syfcareers.com or text SYF9 to 90206. Synchrony, we're working for workplace. is confidence in chaos. Innovative safety and driver assistance technologies like Audi Presense found in the Audi Q5. Get an exceptional offer at your local Audi dealer. 12 News is everything Arizona, taking you everywhere from A to Z. Cave Creek is a friendly town featuring great restaurants, biking and hiking, a taste of the Old West with totally unique shopping destinations. This week, 12 News is in Cave Creek. We gave a forever home to a lot of horses that had a lot of challenges. Jim Gaff, Tierra Madre Horse and Human Sanctuary. We're a 501c3, so we can always use the donations. This is our town, and we're really proud to be in Cape Creek. Get new floors during Empire Today's gigantic 75% off sale. That's carpet, laminate, and even hardwood 75% off. Empire makes getting beautiful new floors easy. See samples in your home, get a free estimate, and have your floors professionally installed. Update your floors with Empire and get 75% off carpet, laminate, and hardwood. 800 500 empire Today, get installation by Thanksgiving, guaranteed or it's free. Well... Used to first dates. <laughs> you look amazing. And you look amazingly comfortable. When your V neck looks more like a U neck, that's when you know it's half washed. Add Downy to keep your collars from stretching. Unlike detergent alone, Downy conditions to smooth and strengthen fibers. So next time, don't half wash it. Downy, and it's done. Hastings and Hastings, discount fees for accident victims. It's about time. I'm coming to your city. Gonna play our guitars and sing. 
All right, welcome back. 12 News, everything Arizona, and we're taking you everywhere from A to Z. This week, we're in Cave Creek and Carefree, and this morning, we're checking out one of Arizona's most iconic bars. Here's Team 12's Brandon Hamilton having a honky-tonk good time at Harold's Corral Restaurant in Cave Creek. Cave Creek is home to a number of honky-tonk western bars, but the one with the most tradition is Harold's Corral. It all started in 1935 when Johnny Walker opened the Corral Bar. So it was a beer stand back then selling A1 beer, but they'd get the workers building the dams, come out here on the weekends, and they'd have the radio blast on our cars and crack some beers open. And it was a social point even back then. Then in 1950, Harold Gavigan bought it and turned it into Harold's Cave Creek Corral. He was a character with, his, uh, with Dick Van Dyke and you could see him firing guns into the signs. And the rowdy past and time-worn traditions are still alive and well today. It's a place a family can come. It's a place you can have some great food and just enjoy your weekend and do some dancing and listen to some great music. We're going to do some dancing. I have two left feet, though, so this could be a problem. Okay. But what kind of dancing are we doing? We're doing country swing. Luckily, I have Daniel Rose here with Dance on AZ to give me a few pointers. So she spins, I spin. And then pull her, hand up, hand down. Just let her go. Oh, let her do it. yes. Oh, yes. Right, there we go. Yes. Back step. Wow. Back step. That, that is awesome. amazing. Enjoy the dancing, the great food, and the Wild West fun and tradition. But there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Pittsburgh Steelers all over the walls. We are known as Heinz Field West, the number one Steeler bar got letters from the Rooney, so it's a nice dynamic part of our business. Whether you are a Steelers fan or not, Harold's Corral is a must-see in Cave Creek. Brandon Hamilton, 12 News. All right, Brandon, thanks a lot. Have you ever been out there? That looks Yeehaw. so good. You know what? It's actually the perfect time of year to go to Harold's yeah. because just with the fall like conditions, it feels amazing. And, and you like to honky tonk dance. I do. You? And the two step. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go. We'll practice that on our traffic story this morning. Things are looking pretty good, but we do have the remnants left behind from the storms, of course. So some puddles here and there. Some of the washes actually uh, bringing a lot of dirt across our roadways, specifically in the Carefree and Cave Creek areas. But on our valley roadways, our freeways to be specific here, uh, we have a vehicle fire over here, 195th Avenue at Happy Valley Road. It doesn't look like it's affecting anything on the 303 in the West Valley or the 60. So good news there. But as we make our way over to 35th Avenue in Cactus, this is where we have a sinkhole. So you can see lots of restrictions popping up on our map. Cactus Road westbound from 33rd to 37th Avenues, 35th Avenue. That's northbound from Shaw Butte Road or Drive to Weathersfield Road. Also Cactus. This road eastbound from 37th Avenue to 33rd and then another one here 35th southbound Weathersfield to Shaw Butte Drive. So really just maybe take Shea or head north of there. Uh, Northern, anything but Cactus and 35th Avenue. Avoid that area. Also, a building fire causing delays and closures. Onyx Avenue at 31st Avenue. Taking a live look outside, the 202 westbound at Scottsdale Road. Love the reflection there of Tempe Town Lake. Mike? Trish. All right, on your pulse on health this morning, you can save some big money. Hey, you, good I morning, guys. I forgot about you, Jen. You know, I was so I wanted to learn how to save on my prescriptions. That's okay. Go. How's it looking out there? We'll make sure to get everybody that information <laughs> in just good. a minute or so. Beautiful morning. Oh my goodness, this fall is just absolutely perfect. We can actually enjoy fall with much of the country, which we don't typically get to do this time of year. It's usually pretty hot outside, still in the lower 90s during the day. Not even going to get close to that today. This morning, actually pretty chilly as you're waking up. 60s in Phoenix, Scottsdale, Deer Valley, upper 50s in the Anthem, taking you to the East. We're in the upper 50s in Tempe, Chandler, Mesa, and 60 in Apache Junction. So make sure you have that light jacket as you're cruising out this morning. Now looking across the state, we're pretty quiet right now, but we could actually see a few more storms developing later this afternoon. So for now, most of the rain is in the high country. It looks like we have a few spots. The pink that you see just north of Payson here might be a little bit of a snow.
snow rain mix falling out there. Putting your uh, forecast into motion here, your future cast. So this is about five o'clock this evening. We do have some light rain across much of northeastern Arizona, including Flagstaff. Might see a little snow up there in the very highest peaks. Phoenix could get a few sprinkles later this evening as well. Then by tomorrow afternoon, we're drying the valley Flagstaff, far eastern Arizona, seeing some light rain. By the time we get through Wednesday, we're very dry and then another storm approaches by the end of the week. So Thursday right now looking to be very wet once again across Arizona. So we'll keep an eye on that for you for your forecast today. Only 77 for the high. We should be at 92 right around 92 this time of year. So we will definitely take that overnight lows quite a bit below average too. We have these very nice low pressure systems coming into the southwest just cooling us off as it should be in fall, right? So 77, your high today in Phoenix, 57, Sedona, 45, Flagstaff, 53, only Payson, only 49, very chilly today in Sholo. Again, those isolated storms possible later today. We start to warm up some, so tomorrow upper 70s again, then Wednesday, Thursday, low 80s. By Thursday, those storms make their way back. We're also looking to Friday for some rain, even Saturday, and we only keep it in the low 80s by the weekend. And Mike, for us in Arizona here in yeah. the desert southwest, that is just incredible. Yeah, I'm loving this. I'll take the 70s and 80s all day long. Thanks a lot. Okay, here we go. Now your pulse on health this morning. You can save some big on prescriptions by shopping around. Yeah, according to a new survey of more than a thousand people, more than half are paying way too much for medications, meaning they're paying whatever the pharmacist tells them that their prescription costs. But you can actually save by digging, doing a little research online before you head to the drugstore using online discounters like GoodRx or Retail Me Nots RX Saver can save you up to 90% depending on the medication. All you need to do is enter your zip code and prescription name and all the different pharmacies and stores in your area that sell that particular prescription will pop up and show you the exact price for that store. All right, has your child gotten the HPV vaccine yet? The American Cancer Center and Society wants 80% of kids to be fully vaccinated by their 13th birthday by 2026. To meet that goal, they estimate 14 million more teenagers would have to get the vaccine. Still ahead on 12 today, the Bird Gang happy with a big win this morning. Up next, the players who made that happen and Paul Gerke's keys to the game. But first, here are our friends at Daily Blast Live. Let's be honest, I'm your favorite DBL host and I'm single. Here's your chance to win a date with me, but you got to watch the next DBL to find out how. Join the conversation on the next Daily Blast Live. meeting clients from far away but they only see his wrinkles he's gotta play it cool to see the deal better find a way to smooth things over if only harry used some bounce to drive yeah he would be less wrinkly and winning at life you remember Veterans in the state home, neglected, left soiled and covered in urine with cigarette burns on their clothes. Yet January Contreras knew about the problems for more than a month and didn't report them. That's right, January Contreras mishandled evidence of patient neglect, more worried about bad press than addressing the problems. That's why we won't forget. January Contreras failed in her duties, failed our veterans, and can't be trusted to protect Arizona. get from here to there? How do we move our communities forward? How do we connect our state's agenda with your personal point of view? As an informed voter, you have the power to shape our future. 
Citizens Clean Elections Commission is your source for unbiased voter information so you can take aim on the issues that matter most. Connect with the facts at azcleanelections.gov. 12 News is everything Arizona, taking you everywhere from A to Z. Cape Creek is a friendly town featuring great restaurants, biking and hiking, a taste of the Old West with totally unique shopping destinations. This week, 12 News is in Cape Creek. We gave a forever home to a lot of horses that had a lot of challenges. Jim Gath, Tierra Madre Horse and Human Sanctuary. We're a 501c3, so we can always use the donations. This is our town, and we're really proud of being Cape Creek. Car wrecks don't keep regular business hours, and neither do we. If you've been hurt in a car wreck after 5 p.m., don't wait until tomorrow to get the help you need now. At Lerner and Rose, we are your 24-7 injury attorney. Call 977-1900. Hello? Hello there. I'll enjoy his tropicaling. When you need a taste of vacation, pick up. Five yard line, play action on first down and has a lot of time. And he's going to go deep. And there is Christian Kirk, who's wide open. And Kirk will score on the first play from scrimmage. Nice, Josh Rosen making it happen. Bird Gang flying a little higher today. The Cardinals beating the San Francisco 49ers. Final score 28 to 18. Chandler Jones making a big impact on the field. Here's Team 12's Paul Gerke with the keys to yesterday's game. Last week, analysts estimated the Cardinals left some 150 yards on the table solely as the result of dropped passes. The Birds did have a few drops Sunday, too, but this time around, Josh Rosen's stats were handicapped more so by his own inaccuracy. That said, I'm not going to spend this segment riding the rookie over some overthrows. Instead, let's take a look at what he did right. And there's no better example than Arizona's first offensive snap. Mike McCoy bucking some of his conservative tendencies and runs play action on first down. Keep your eyes on Christian Kirk at the top of your screen. He's going deep on this play. He is the guy to watch. But I also want you to pay close attention to the pocket that the Cardinals O-line gives Josh Rosen to throw here. Look how clean that is. He's able to take a couple steps forward and deliver a beautiful deep ball to Christian Kirk. You may be wondering, how does a guy with the skill set of Kirk get this wide open? Well, sometimes you get a gift from the defense. Watch the replay as Kirk runs his route. The safety is going to enter from the bottom of the screen. He's got his eyes on Kirk and not the football. He takes a horrible angle, and that allows Christian to keep his cushion. First career tutty for the kid from Saguaro High. I'm sure he's celebrating accordingly. All right, fast forward to the third quarter. Cards on defense now. We just saw how Rosen took advantage of a clean pocket. Pay attention to how 49ers quarterback C.J. Beathard does not do that. Now, credit to Chandler Jones. He puts a good rip move on the tackle there. But look at all this space that Beathard has. He could take a couple steps forward and get away from Jones. He doesn't. Instead, Beathard languishes in the back of the pocket and allows Jones to reach out and knock the ball away. It's not all about a QB's arm. His footwork and pocket awareness are just as important. But then again, what are you supposed to do about a guy like Chandler Jones when he's playing as well as he played on Sunday? Last clip here. This is nightmare fuel for offensive coordinators. Jones should not physically be able to make this play. He's up against the tight end here. The fullback is also going to come over and get a piece of him, too. They're trying to chip him. It's essentially a double team. But as Jay-Z once said, you need more people. Watch as Jones gets right through the two of them. He beats the tight end, and the fullback completely whiffs on him. Jones is able to haul down the ball carrier behind the line of scrimmage. Season high, six tackles, forced fumble, and his fourth sack of the year. Just another day in the office for the leader of the Cardinals defense. All right, thanks, Paul. You had me lost, but at least <laughs> I know that they won. He knows what he's talking yeah. about. Good. Still ahead on 12 today. Bubby LaCroix is bubbly LaCroix, excuse me, is in some hot water. The toxic claims that may have you rethinking your next sips coming up at 517. I thought Diet Coke was bad. Yeah, right. Well, uh, plus a cosmic themed playground that any kid who is into space will love. We're live inside the Science Center's brand new exhibit. Plenty of horse racing action this summer with simulcast from major racetracks at Turf Paradise and at all 65 off-track betting sites. Watch and wager on races from Del Mar, Saratoga, Churchill Downs, Arlington Park, and more.
For the OTB nearest you, go to turfparadise.com. Today, Arizona is a national leader in solar energy. We rank third in the country. We're doing it the Arizona way while keeping electricity affordable. But Prop 127 would impose California-style mandates and cost Arizona families $1,000 per year. California tried this, and their electric rates are increasing three times the national average. We all want a clean energy future. Let's keep doing it the Arizona way. Vote no on Prop 127. Get ready to retire the way you want. Most people save for retirement through pre-tax retirement plans at work, like 401ks. But don't be afraid to pay taxes on some assets. We'll show you how. Oxford Retirement. Today only, the gigantic Southwest Spa Show at the Peoria Sports Complex. Save up to half off hot tubs and swim spas. 0% financing. Instant factory rebates. Hot tubs from $39.90. Swim spas, $11.990. Hurry to the Southwest Spa Show ends 5 p.m. today. SWSpaShow.com. Arizona schools are in crisis. But Wendy Rogers wants to cut school funding and eliminate the Department of Education. You start the beast, you start the Department of Education. As a former police officer, Tom O'Halloran knows how good schools change a child's life. Tom worked with both parties to increase education funding and reduce class sizes. And Tom will keep working to help our kids succeed. I'm Tom O'Halloran and I approve this message. Plenty of horse racing action this summer with simulcast from major racetracks at Turf Paradise and at all 65 off-track betting sites. Watch and wager on races from Del Mar, Saratoga, Churchill Downs, Arlington Park, and more. For the OTB nearest you, go to turfparadise.com. You're watching 12 News, Arizona's most watched station. Tipping the scales. We're hours away from the public swearing in of Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. And was it a bird, a plane, Superman? What really caused the streak of light over Arizona last night? An internet, here we go, an internet hoax is making its way all over Facebook. How you can make sure you do not become victim of it. And the big story this morning. Wild rain, we had snow in the forecast, just about everything is it going to stick around. Yeah, it's looking a lot more like a winter wonderland than fall here in Arizona. These temperatures, these this weather, the pictures that we're getting. Snowball got six inches of snow. Williams with just a couple of inches too. Yeah, even Sholo seeing some early snow. So it's pretty crazy out there. That is for sure. But I will tell you one thing. I am loving the temperatures. No one's complaining. No. I'm wearing not a at all. turtleneck today. So let's send it <laughs> over to Jen Wolf. I had to, Jen, because I feel like this is my only chance to do this. I know. You have like three days. Yes. Back to the tank top. Right. So enjoy it. It is amazing outside. It doesn't even feel like Phoenix and fall. It feels like the high country. The high country feeling more like winter. But hey, us desert rats, we will take it. Man, it has just been so hot this summer. So on your satellite radar, we do have a little snow falling in the high country very highest peaks this morning temperature wise we're only in the upper 50s right now in phoenix it's chilly as you're heading out the door 40s for payson prescott sedona 30s as you get a little farther north flagstaff grand canyon greer show low in the 30s as well 52 this morning in safford we are only going to hit a high of 77 today trisha this time of year we should be in the low 90s so it is just incredible we'll talk about rain chances coming up oh yeah i'll take 70s over 90s on our traffic scene today a busy morning for our morning commute so if you're heavy, heading out give yourself plenty of extra time heavy traffic building on the 51 at highland that crash actually just popped up and then over in the west valley i guess good news here it looks like this vehicle fire just cleared up as well so we don't have to worry about that one but over here southeast of the valley we have uh well this is north phoenix cactus 35th avenue a sinkhole here causing quite a few restrictions and delays so you'll want to watch out for that. Also a building fire and some of the smoke may actually make its way over to the 51. So if you're making your way north or south on the 51, you'll want to watch out for this. This is on the surface streets Onyx Avenue at 31st Street. Taking a live look outside the 202 westbound at Scottsdale looking pretty good. All right, thanks, Trisha. 502. Let's get you up to speed now on what's making headlines this morning. Today, President Trump will hold a formal swearing in ceremony for Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh, the 114th Supreme Court Justice, was technically sworn in Saturday following a 50 to 48 vote. 
Kavanaugh is a known conservative, now tipping the balance of the court. And how could this happen? The NTSB is trying to figure out what, if anything, could have prevented the nation's deadliest transportation accident in nine years. All 18 people inside of a limousine, as well as two pedestrians, died in a crash in upstate New York when the limo blew through an intersection and crashed into a parked car. Four of the victims were sisters celebrating the 30th birthday for all of them. The new questions this crash is raising about limo safety nationwide, that's coming on later on today, right after 12 today at 7. It's just absolute horrific. They're going to talk with Matt Bradley. We'll be live from New York with the investigation and what we know about the 20 victims. 60 cities and counting. Just this year, at least a dozen U.S. cities have followed in the footsteps of Phoenix, declaring today an, as Indigenous Peoples Day instead of Columbus Day. Over the past several years, Indigenous <coughs> groups have rallied to change the day to reflect the contributions made by Native Americans. The city council unanimously approved to officially change the day in Phoenix to Indigenous Peoples Day two years ago. That Falcon 9 first stage should be approaching the ground just about in five seconds here. Let's watch as it attempts to land. That is SpaceX rocket taken off last night, but this time the mission was a bit different because for the first time, the rocket came back and landed on the West Coast. Yeah, and the strange streak of light across the night sky had many of you calling into our newsroom last night, wondering what the heck it was. Team 12's Adam Bagney joins us live in studio with the launch that was so historic. All right. What was going on out there? Well, you <laughs> stole the words right out of my mouth, Mike. The calls and the emails, they were pouring in last night with people wondering, what the heck was that? We can confirm it was not an alien encounter, but it was significant nevertheless as SpaceX landed one of its rockets in California for the first time ever. Now, SpaceX has previously landed rockets on land in Florida, but again, never on the West Coast. The rocket, which is called a first stage booster, took off from Vandenberg Air Force Base. That's about 130 miles northwest of L.A. At around 720 Arizona time, the so-called Falcon 9 carried an Argentinian observation satellite into space before returning back to Earth. And as you might imagine, the whole event set off a social media frenzy. These are all images from here in Arizona. This one's from Russ, and you can see it almost looks blue as the... Uh, Falcon 9 rocket took off across the night sky. This video here is from Ambi, and you can see it just streaking there with the moon in the background. So many people calling into our newsroom. People wonder, hey, how do you guys get stories on the news? The majority of the time, it's just people calling in, and that's what happened here. You can see the rocket flying across. For the folks that were in California as well, not only did they see the rocket, but they heard it too. It created a sonic boom upon its return into the atmosphere. And the reason, guys, that these landings are so significant is because SpaceX can now reuse this boot booster, which, of course, will cut down significantly on the cost of launches. So a lot of people wondering what was going on last night, and that's what it was, guys. I've fallen victim to, oh yeah. my gosh, what is that in the sky? <laughs> the last time that this happened. It's just so wild that it's yeah. all the way in California. Unbelievable. And you can see it, and it's so bright. Easily see it, too. Yeah. Not like a little speck. Right. I mean, taking over the whole night sky, so. Just this type of technology still fascinates me like I'm a little kid, you know? And that they can reuse it, yeah. too. It's just wild. All right, all right. thanks, Adam. Thanks. To infinity and beyond. All right, speaking of being a little kid, still ahead on 12 today, space, meet, uh, space meets the Wild West. We're helping you entertain the kids over fall break with an out of this world exhibit you can find right here in Arizona. And could we have a white Christmas? We want to know what you think of seeing snow in early October in Arizona. Yes, these pictures were taken yesterday. Go to 12news.com slash your voice. Let us know. Do you love it? Think it's maybe too soon? We're going to have the final results at the end of the show. I'm of a white Christmas. Just like the one. Had a creative letter. We customize leather furniture just for you. Take Sherry. She has twins and loves color. So we built her a beautiful Monica sofa, added an extra seat, and her favorite color. In other words, we'll size, color, detail, and craft it 
just for you. And now save up to 40% off all leathers during our Home for the Holidays sale. That's 40% off all leathers, customized for your home by Christmas. Creative Leather, creatively yours. As a teacher, your calling was always to make a difference and positively impact the future. You live with a deep sense of purpose and strive to inspire generations of change. GCU's online Master's of Education degree program gives you the skills you need to grow and develop your career. You're not just inspiring future generations of leaders, you're giving them the tools they need to succeed. Find your purpose at GCU, where advanced technologies drive education. Private, Christian, affordable, nonprofit. Visit gcu.edu slash online. Kirsten Cinema argued for giving an easy defense to men caught with child prostitutes. So very wrong. But there's more, and it's a troubling pattern. Kirsten Cinema voted against tougher penalties for criminals who commit drive-by shootings. She was wrong again. Cinema even opposed a bill that increased penalties for assaulting Arizona police officers. Kirsten Cinema talks moderate, but her radical record puts us all at risk. Defend Arizona is responsible for the content of this advertising. Get ready to retire the way you want with Oxford Retirement. Not a big risk taker when it comes to retirement. Learn ways to potentially manage or eliminate market risk altogether. We can show you how. Oxford Retirement. Hey Phoenix, Ty Pennington here. I'm in the middle of shooting the new promos for the new season of Trading Spaces. I'm also very excited because I'm coming to Phoenix to see everybody at the Maricopa County Home and Garden Show at Westworld in Scottsdale. I'm gonna be there Saturday and Sunday, October 20th and 21st for two special appearances. I'll be sharing some behind the scenes TV secrets, a few design ideas, and a lot of inspiration too. For more info, go to mchomeshows.com. Hope to see you there. Not just super silky pajamas comfortable, Serta comfortable. Kiss your old mattress goodbye and save up to $900 on Serta Eye Comfort. Hurry in today to Michael Allen Furnishings, Mattress America, Valley Furniture and Appliance, or America's Mattress. Arizona, can you be a space cowboy? We're talking about a brand new space exhibit, perfect for the little ones on fall break. Oh, so much fun. Team 12's Monica Garcia joins us live from the Arizona Science Center. All right, Monica, what is the cosmic playground all about? Well, it starts with this chair where you can be an astronaut in training. Trust the chair, trust the chair, trust the chair, and learn all about space and balance. Why did I do that on Lime TV? You know, because you have to have an experience with gravity. You gotta trust the chair and become a, an astronaut. And I, just start playing. Yes, okay, so, okay, thank you. Bye, chair, forever. <laughs> We're here at the Arizona Science Center. Check it out, their brand new exhibit. This is fantastic. What are we looking at? Well, this is Cosmic Playground. This is our newest experience, and it's all about getting people inspired about space. Everybody can come, climb, slide, and explore in the galaxy here. Okay, when you say people, you mean the little ones in particular. And I have to tell you guys, the coolest thing about this is, what is this? This is all regular packing tape. So these climbers are made out of all tape. Okay, when she means tape, take a look at this. It's this, okay. So how much tape were we talking about? How much of these rolls were you out here putting together? So we had about 300 volunteers with all of uh, these rolls, about 500 rolls, 50 miles of packing tape. I love it, it teaches kids about space, but also being frugal. <laughs> My middle name. Okay, so we're gonna try this out. I, I'm, I'm forcing Sari to come with me because, uh, Sari, because it's freaking me out. But it, it's supposed to simulate a wormhole. What else? So 
we've inspired ourselves here with wormholes, everything from space, gravity wells, different galaxies, and we just love this idea of feeling like you're in the stars. So let's climb it and see. It'll definitely hold you. Or feeling like I'm 60 years old. Okay, this looks so hard. Okay, so I have, I have socks on. Oh my gosh, okay. Why is it so slippery? I have socks on, uh, but you said parents can also come in here with the kiddos. Absolutely, this is an all ages experience. We want everybody to give it a try. Okay. It's definitely a lot of fun and something you don't expect. I love that. Okay, so you guys are open now. We are absolutely open now. We open at 10 a.m. today. For more information, where can people go to have so much fun? Oh, azscience.org for all the information. Okay, I'm coming at you. Three, two. Does that look like <laughs> fun? All righty, from the AZ, Science Center. I'm Monica Garcia, astronaut and training back to you. Oh. You just, you wear it well. You she, own that suit. She likes to have fun, so this yes. is perfect for her. Oh, All geez, right, Monica, Monica. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Let's talk about your weather, everyone, because it is officially I don't want to say turtleneck season. Turtleneck I was, was going to say, you, you were owning the turtleneck at the top of the show. <laughs> you guys, I felt a little bashful putting it on, but then no. when I went outdoors, it was like no. 60 degrees. It's chilly. chilly it's yeah. in the upper 50s. It's, it's only chilly. going to drop a few more degrees before the morning's over. So, hey, I say do it. Wear the turtleneck. I put sweaters out Own for it. the kids yeah. last night before I went to bed. It's going to be chilly today. We have upper 70s is all for the high in Phoenix for us. I mean, man, we went from the triple digits to like 30 degrees cooler. So it's all right. Wear the turtlenecks, whatever you need to get adjusted to these comfortable temperatures. 59 in Tempe, 55 Chandler, 59 Apache Junction, upper 50s in the West Valley, Luke Air Force Base, Goodyear and Surprise. So it's just a beautiful morning waking up in the desert in the high country. We do have a freeze warning. That's in effect until 8 o'clock this morning. That does include places like Flagstaff, Heber Overgard, even Sholo. So just very, very cold up north and very early for this. Even got some snow yesterday. This morning we're seeing some light snow falling across the high country at about 7,500 feet and higher. Little to no accumulation is expected and there could be some icy spots as you are driving in the high country. So keep that in mind too. We, we really don't talk about that this time of year just yet little bit early so mostly sunny conditions today in the forecast a few clouds here and there here's some of that snow just south of Flagstaff the white and the pink is the snow that you see there the light rain falling across northern Arizona we're dry in the valley right now but that could change later today we definitely could see some of this some rain falling in Phoenix later this evening future cast here you see by Oh, this evening we're seeing some rain for Phoenix and Flagstaff. Then by Tuesday afternoon, it's all pushed off to the east. We're dry. Wednesday, we're dry. Then Thursday, another system makes its way into the valley, and that's where we could see more rain in the valley and snow in the high country. Should be at 92 this time of year. We're only in the upper 70s. Just beautiful. We've had a lot of rain. It's just been fantastic. So forecast and high today, 77 in Phoenix. We'll keep it nice and gorgeous for you. 45 is all in Flagstaff. Very cold up north, and that chance for storms returns by Thursday. Trisha? I remember when I used to live in Flagstaff. Ooh, temperatures in the 40s this morning. Wow. Time to get that puffy coat out. On our traffic this morning, things are looking pretty busy. We do have some road closures due to a sinkhole. We also have a vehicle fire down here. This is off of 33rd Avenue. That one's near Rozier, so uh, south of the valley. But closer to home here, vehicle fire on Highland Avenue, southbound at Black Canyon Highway. And then we also have debris in the road off of the 51 northbound at Northern Avenue. So you'll want to watch out for that. Also a crash on the I-10 eastbound at 24th Street. So if you're making your way into the downtown Phoenix area or maybe catching a flight or flying in, then definitely want to watch out for that one. That's always a busy spot on our map. Also, a lot of restrictions here all around the areas of Cactus Road and 33rd to 37th Avenues. This is all due to a sinkhole out there, so just avoid Cactus altogether. It looks like that vehicle fire isn't causing any delays due to smoke or anything like that on the 51. Here's a live look northbound at Highland. Things are looking great. Guys. All right, thanks, Trisha. 517 is your time. Let's take a quick look at this morning's business hot headlines. The company Mattress Firm has filed for bankruptcy. We'll be closing 700 stores, including 200 within the next few days. Ten of those stores are right here in Arizona. For a complete list, go to 12news.com.
And you're probably seeing this all over social media. LaCroix lovers, we have some sour news for you. The popular sparkling water is being sued. The lawsuit claiming the beverage is not 100% natural as the company claims. Instead, the lawsuit reads the drink contains a chemical which is used in cockroach insecticide and is toxic. LaCroix has responded by denying all those allegations, claiming all 21 of their flavors are in fact natural. If you've been on Facebook lately, you may have seen this message. It's a message oh, from one I of keep your friends. That one. Do you? <laughs> yes. So it's a message from one of your friends telling you they got hacked. Officials say it is completely fake. They're warning everyone do not share this thing. The best thing to do, ignore the message, just delete it. Good to know. Yeah. I, I, did you think it was real when you got it? I, initially, I did think it was real, and I thought to myself, oh, because it's telling you that you're being cloned and not yeah. to friend request people. And so, I have been cloned on Facebook before. Have you? Yeah, where I've had to shut down oh different accounts. I know it's weird. Yeah, it is scary. So the, the best news, just delete them and, and ignore yeah. them. All right, well, still ahead on 12 Today, the cards finally got in the win column. Yes, the big reason why and why last night's game was such a big deal for Coach Wilkes. Plus, it's not just good for them. But it's good for mom, too. The added benefits of putting oh. your kids to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> no one has a problem with that. 12 News is everything Arizona, taking you everywhere from A to Z. Cape Creek is a friendly town featuring great restaurants, biking and hiking, a taste of the Old West with totally unique shopping destinations. This week, 12 News is in Cape Creek. Rare Earth Gallery is probably one of the most unique stores on the planet. Wayne Helfand, owner of Rare Earth Gallery and purveyor of the earth. From the gems and the minerals and the rocks to our 50 cases of jewelry, there is something for everyone from A to Z. This is my career and my life. It is an everyday opportunity to work at a company that supports me. We know you have unique ambitions. Synchrony is here to help you achieve them. We're hiring call center representatives in Phoenix with generous benefits like tuition reimbursement, medical coverage for your whole family, and work that doesn't feel like it. Apply at syfcareers.com or text SYF9 to 90206. Synchrony, we're working for workplace. With uncontrolled moderate to severe eczema or atopic dermatitis, you never know how your skin will look. And it can feel like no matter what you do, you're itching all the time. But even though you see and feel your eczema on the surface of your skin, an overly sensitive immune system deep within your skin might actually be causing your eczema. So help heal your skin from within with Dupixent. Dupixent is not a steroid, and it continuously treats your eczema even when you can't see it. At 16 weeks, more than one in three patients saw clear or almost clear skin, and patients saw a significant reduction in itch. Do not use if you are allergic to Dupixent. Serious allergic reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you have new or worsening eye problems, including eye pain or changes in vision. If you have asthma and are taking asthma medicines, do not change or stop your asthma medicine without talking to your doctor. Help heal your skin from within. Ask your eczema specialist about Dupixent. Live horse racing returns to Arizona at Turf Paradise on opening day, Saturday, October 13th. Watch, wager, and win on a full card of live horse racing. Free t-shirts for the first 5,000 paid admissions, plus live music and a kid's fun park with bounce house inflatables. Opening day will also honor our veterans, Native American veterans, and first responders. Gates open at 11 a.m. The first post time is 12.55. Grandstand admission is $3 and general parking is free. Turf Paradise opening day, Saturday, October 13th at 19th Ave and Bell. Oh, the bird gang flying a little higher today as the Cardinals take home their first win of the season over the San Francisco 49ers. This one extra special for Steve Wilkes. He's come back to State 48 with his first regular season win as a head coach in the National Football League. Finally, Wilkes came over from Carolina where he was the coordinator of one of the league's best defenses. And as Team 12's Paul Gerke reveals, defense might have just won the game upon further review. They left their hearts in San Francisco, and they left the 49ers holding an L, too. This morning, we're celebrating the Cardinals' first win of the season, a 28-18 victory over a division rival. We don't have to dive too deep into our memory banks to recall a time that this Cards defense was forcing turnovers by the ton. Arizona boasted 17 of them this preseason. Takeaways are often an unpredictable feast or famine. 
This morning, we dine like it's the morning after Halloween because the cars reached into their bag of tricks and pulled out five treats, each one sweeter than the last upon further review. There's no such thing as an ugly win in the National Football League, particularly when it's your first one. Man, I don't care what victory you call it, as long as you call it a victory. Play action, Rosen setting up with time, looks deep, fires deep, got a man wide open inside the 30, it's caught by Kirk at the 20, at the 10, touchdown! Josh Rosen with a strike! And just trying to be aggressive and trying to hit, stay ahead of the sticks, and we're very fortunate right there that uh, we made the play. There's always excitement, uh, you know, when you know that, you know, they're going to come to you at the first play, so all it was was just my job to get open. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm very excited. Been a long time coming, just uh, being patient and just taking advantage of the opportunities when they come to me. And we told them we needed a shot in the first play and uh, wanted to kind of spark it and make something happen. And they held up and uh, we made a play. Takes the snap, Rosen hands it off to Johnson up the middle, gets hit at the goal line and gets the ball across for a touchdown. All I care about is this win. I'm pretty happy. I got the first one. It steps up, gets away from Chandler Jones, who then comes back and hacks the ball free. It's loose at the 47-yard line. Chandler Jones trying to rip it away. Uh, we just know we had to dig deep. Not about being tired, but it was about walking off that field with a win. So that was our biggest thing tonight. Gun snap, Beathard into the pocket, pumps, loses the ball. It's deflected. Josh Bynes picks it up at the 20. He's at the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown! Great ball on defense. Uh, played over 100 plays, but uh, we got to make sure we got the field, but Turnovers are exactly what we, you know, practice and what we, you know, preach about. Shotgun snap to Bether. Drops back to pass. Throws over the middle. It is intercepted at the 45-yard line. Five slot. And I'll take that any game. We took this game one, one game at a time. We get five turnovers, and now we're on to the next week. Hopefully this is just the first of many uh, moving forward. And, uh, again, I'm just so proud of the guys in that locker room. It's a long road ahead, but hopefully this is the first win of many. Josh Rosen takes a knee. Steve Wilkes, his first win as an NFL head coach. <laughs> you know what I've been dealing with the last four weeks? <laughs> really? Yes, yeah, it feels great. The Cardinals win it 28-18. to Obviously, the season had to start the way we wanted to, but, you know, it had to, it had to start somewhere. And uh, to be able to get our first win on the road against a division opponent is, is always great. The Cardinals defense was on the field for 92 plays thanks to the 49ers 2 to 1 edge in time of possession. It's definitely something Coach Wilkes and company will be looking to clean up as the cards get set to visit the Minnesota Vikings next Sunday morning. But for now, guys, let's bask in the glow of sweet, sweet victory. We'll take the and win. Let it last, it was, yeah. You, def defense played great. You look at Rosen standing there, right there at yeah. the last shot next to Larry Fitzgerald, and you realize how young Rosen is. He's only 21. I He's think, a right? baby. He is. Because it, it drives me crazy sometimes when people say, "Oh, you know." This old guy, Larry Fitzgerald. I'm like, are you kidding <laughs> He's me? Like, what, 35? Yeah, you're younger than that. He's very young. But then you put him next to Rosen, and you're yeah. like, Wait a second. Rosen looks like he's straight out of high school. Yeah, yeah I mean, doesn't play like he's straight out of no. high school, but he looks that you way. You figure as long as Tom Brady has lasted, if Josh Rosen could have that same success, I mean, the Cardinals can have a great quarterback for years to come. I hope so. Yeah. Still ahead on 12 today. We had Martha McSally. And now this morning, Democratic candidate for U.S. Senate Kirsten Cinema joins us live in Studio 12A. And we're taking your questions. Text us, then tune in at 630 to hear what she has to say. Plus, tips to spot a fake from the real deal when it comes to booking your next vacation home. Coming up on Money Saving Monday, that's at 6.15 a.m. Stick around for that. Just a few years ago, Arizona had a $1 billion budget deficit. Today, the budget is balanced. Red tape eliminated. Major employers are coming to all parts of Arizona. We've created hundreds of thousands of new jobs, and Arizona's unemployment rate is the lowest in a decade. The border is more secure, and our families are safer. We've done all this without raising taxes. A booming economy, a more secure border, a stronger Arizona. Get ready to retire the way you want with Oxford Retirement. Retirement planning is much more than just financial planning. Start looking into tax-efficient strategies, asset preservation, and estate planning. Better yet, let us help you with it. Oxford Retirement. Today, Arizona is a national leader in solar energy. We rank third in the country. We're doing it the Arizona way while keeping electricity affordable. 
But Prop 127 would impose California-style mandates and cost Arizona families $1,000 per year. California tried this, and their electric rates are increasing three times the national average. We all want a clean energy future. Let's keep doing it the Arizona way. Vote no on Prop 127. Today only, the gigantic Southwest Spa Show at the Peoria Sports Complex. Save up to half off hot tubs and swim spas. 0% financing. Instant factory rebates. Hot tubs from $39.90. Swim spas, $11.990. Hurry, the Southwest Spa Show ends 5 p.m. today. SWSpaShow.com. To manage our elections, trust and accountability matter. I'm Katie Hobbs. I've run big nonprofits, being accountable to women and their families, keeping them safe from domestic abuse. In the state Senate, I worked across the aisle to end the backlog of untested rape kits. I've earned the trust of both Democrats and Republicans, working to combat opioid abuse, expand health care, and keep our elections secure. I'm running for Secretary of State, and you can trust that I'll be accountable to you. As a former prosecutor, I've fought on the front lines to stop human trafficking. When I heard about Kirsten Cinema taking these donations, I was disgusted. Websites like Backpage enable the sex trafficking of kids right here in Arizona. Kirsten Cinema only gave away the donations after she got caught. That's not good enough. Kirsten Cinema put politics and money over the safety of our kids. NRSC is responsible for the content of this advertising. I mean, look at this. That's beautiful, huh? Right now on 12 Today. Would you believe that this is in Arizona, an early taste of winter, very early, all throughout our state? How long the rain and, yes, snow will stick around? And confirmation controversy. Now Justice Brett Kavanaugh gets ready to take his seat on the bench of the highest court. For the very first time, well, this season, that is, the Cardinals finally add one to the win column, and things are only looking up from here. And it's only a game, a viral sign at a ballpark that's putting parents in their place. That should be a good story. Oh, dear. <laughs> I think I'm going to need that I all know. over. Good I morning, A lot everyone. of sports girls. There were some crazy coaches and parents out there, no question. <laughs> oh, shoot. I hope I'm not one of them, but oh, well, we'll see. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on 12 Today. I'm Emma Jade along with Mike Gonzalez. He's in for Paul Gerke this morning. Yeah, cool start to the week with today's highs in the 70s. Yesterday, parts of the valley got a heavy dose of rain. Heavy dose. It woke a lot of people up right out of bed and up in the high country, though. Arizona Snow Bowl got six inches of snow. Wow. Look at that. Williams getting a couple of inches too. Even Sholo seeing some early October snow. So the question is, how long will it look like a winter wonderland? Jen, I cannot even believe that it's <laughs> this early and that is what we saw yesterday. I know, it feels like more like winter than fall, yeah. but hey, we will take it, man. It has been so hot so dry. We're finally making up for things in the rain column. We need it so desperately here in the desert, just in a huge drought. And so this rain is really helping us out. And we still have a long way to go this morning. If you're wondering whether it's going to rain or not, you're good. It should stay pretty dry around Phoenix. Might get some sprinkles later on this afternoon. We just have some light rain, even a mix of snow and rain in the high country. The very highest peaks this morning up above about 7,500 feet for that snow. So a few slick spots across parts of the high country. 59 right now in Phoenix. It's so cool. The temperatures are really what we're focusing on this morning. Mid 40s, Payson, Prescott, Sedona, 30s, Flagstaff, Grand Canyon, low 60s, Lake Havasu City, 52 this morning in Safford. So we'll stay in the upper 50s through about 7 a.m. It's going to be chilly. Make sure you have a light jacket or something to keep you warm this morning. We don't get into the low 70s until noon. And then this afternoon, we stay in the low to upper 70s. A very slight chance for storms. Trisha, coming up, we'll get a look at rain totals from yesterday. Got some nice rain in the valley yesterday morning. So how's the commute shaping up as we're kind of drying out from Sunday? Jen, things are actually looking a lot better than they were about a half hour ago. Things are in the clearing stages in a couple different spots due to vehicle fires. And we also have a crash in the clearing stages. This is on the I-10 eastbound at 24th Street. So it looks like the map is still green, meaning drivers are cruising above 50 miles per hour right now. But this is where we're going to see a lot of traffic building up this morning. So just avoid 
Cactus Road altogether, all the way from 33rd Avenue to 37th Avenue in certain spots. This is all due to a big sinkhole in this area, so you're going to want to watch out for that. All right, here's a live look outside our ADOT camera off of the I-10 eastbound at the Salt River Bridge, and it looks like lots of brake lights, kind of some slow and go in that area because of that cleanup from the crash. Emma? You'd think it would not be so crowded I know. already. It's Monday. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Off and running. 532 is your time. Checking hot headlines for you. A truck flips and lands on top of a car in Prescott. And somehow oh. nobody was hurt. Can you believe that's, that? That's crazy. The Yavapai County Sheriff's Office says the woman driving the white pickup lost control after a black truck driving next to her hit her. She then crossed into oncoming traffic, collided with the car, flipped into the air, landing on the red car you see in these pictures. The driver of the black truck allegedly started the crash, took off. So if you have any information, call the Prescott Police Department. I cannot believe yeah, no one was I mean, injured. Fortunately, no one injured, but wow. unbelievable. Well, Megan McCain moving forward after her father's death today. She goes back to work co-hosting The View. Megan announcing her return last week, tweeting, it's not about how hard you hit, it's about how, how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. I, I think Rocky said that. Yeah. yeah. It's a pretty yeah. VA picture. I like the length of that. Yeah. There. We're less than a month away from the 2018 midterm elections. This morning, Democratic candidate for U.S. Senate Kirsten Sinema will join us live in Studio 12A at 6.30. She'll be here to talk about Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation, the election, and her campaign. And Cardinals head coach Steve Wilkes getting the game ball for his first win as a head coach. So congratulations to him. Benet Benwick. Erie handed him that ball right after his interception late in the fourth quarter that was followed by a big hug from Larry Fitzgerald. As you can imagine, lots of hugs all up and down that Cardinals sideline as the Cards picked up their first win of the season five games in. Here's Paul's extra point. A decade from now, the result of Sunday's game may not matter. The box score, nothing more than a friendly reminder of what transpired on a long forgotten early October Sunday. The intricacies of that victory eroded by the sands of time and the countless heart pounding wins and gut wrenching losses still to come. But maybe not. Sometimes a win is more than a win. Sometimes we're witness to history without knowing it. While many fans still pine for Bruce Arians, perhaps Sunday was a harbinger of what's to come under Steve Wilkes, the defensive mastermind finding a will and a way to get his guys to play 92 snaps on defense and bend without breaking. Perhaps Sunday was a passing of the torch from Larry Legend to Kid Kirk, the former finding a way to contribute to his legacy without hauling in the 10 catches and 100 yards we've come to expect, instead guiding a rookie receiver who will, hopefully, one day fill Fitz's shoes. Perhaps Sunday marked the first of many wins for Josh Rosen, a young man barely old enough to buy a beverage on the concourse, thrust into a starting role before most of us assumed he'd be ready. Perhaps in 10 years, we'll watch a Monday night football montage of his overthrows in that game and laugh about an all pro QB having some nerves back in the day. Even if none of these grand plans come to fruition, we ought to be excited about the possibilities. We're standing on the brink of a new era in Arizona sports. Rosen and Kirk, Booker and Ayton, Oliver Ekman Larson donning the C for the Yotes, hoping to do it as proud as Shane Doan once did. The fresh faces have announced their presence. Are they ready for the big time? Not yet. There will be growing pains. There will be gnashing of teeth, pulling of hair, and plenty of angry text messages hammered out to the local NBC affiliate. But don't forget to ponder the possibilities. And while you're at it, save the box score for the newspaper, just in case. We're on to something here in Arizona. Yeah, I love it. And you know what? We love seeing your game day picture. So send them to us. Use that hashtag beyond 12, and we would love to show them on our TV show 12 today. All right. And guess who tweeted this? Great team win the answer at 6 o'clock. That's it. That's all we get. Great team win. It, it was a great team win. Yeah. And I, you, I, we were talking earlier. I mean, when you look, I was looking at Chicago, they only lost by two. Seattle by three. I mean, you, you, this team could easily be uh, have three wins. They could yeah. easily have, be three and two. In my dreams, they do. I know. Darn it all. <laughs> all right, 536 is your time. Justice Brett Kavanaugh hasn't heard a Supreme Court case yet, but his confirmation it are, is already having an impact on the midterm elections. We'll get to that live from Washington, but first, some relief with some late-night laughs.
There are a lot of pacemakers being put to the test tonight. And I see Mitch McConnell here. Mitch, how are you feeling? Uh, that was awesome. Woo! Do you feel like this is a win you can be proud of? Oh, hell yeah, Dana. Republicans read the mood of the country, and we could tell that people really wanted Kavanaugh. Everyone's pumped from white men over 60 to white men over 70. <laughs> Closed captioning of 12 News is brought to you in part by your Desert Ford dealers. At Callbox, we believe self-storage should enter the 21st century. That's why we pick up, we store, and we bring it back when you want it. All at a comparable price. Callbox Storage. Never step foot in a storage unit again. Today, Arizona is a national leader in solar energy. We rank third in the country. We're doing it the Arizona way, while keeping electricity affordable. But Prop 127 would impose California-style mandates and cost Arizona families $1,000 per year. California tried this, and their electric rates are increasing three times the national average. We all want a clean energy future. Let's keep doing it the Arizona way. Vote no on Prop 127. Under Doug Ducey, Arizona has added 240,000 new jobs. Wages are up. David Garcia would put that at risk. Garcia supports higher taxes on everyone and says families absolutely need to pay more. Garcia supports making Arizona the fifth highest income tax state in the country. That will drive jobs away. Garcia won't just make our border less secure. No wall in southern Arizona. David Garcia, risky ideas, wrong for Arizona. As a former prosecutor, I've fought on the front lines to stop human trafficking. When I heard about Kirsten Cinema taking these donations, I was disgusted. Websites like Backpage enable the sex trafficking of kids right here in Arizona. Kirsten Cinema only gave away the donations after she got caught. That's not good enough. Kirsten Cinema put politics and money over the safety of our kids. NRSC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Arizona schools are in crisis, but Wendy Rogers wants to cut school funding and eliminate the Department of Education. You start the beast, you start the Department of Education. As a former police officer, Tom O'Halloran knows how good schools change a child's life. Tom worked with both parties to increase education funding and reduce class sizes, and Tom will keep working to help our kids succeed. I'm Tom O'Halloran, and I approve this message. Meanwhile, in a secret location in Phoenix, the politicians are plotting. They want to impose a new tax on services. But Pat is here to protect Arizona's taxpayers. A vote yes on 126, protect Arizona taxpayers, will stop them from taxing veterinary services, health care, child care, and more. Don't let them create a new sales tax and stall the economy. Vote yes on 126. Vote yes on 126, protect Arizona taxpayers. At Callbox, we believe self-storage should enter the 21st century. That's why we pick up, we store, and we bring it back when you want it. All at a comparable price. Callbox Storage. Never step foot in a storage unit again. You're watching 12 Today, winner of the Rocky Mountain Emmy Award for Best Morning Newscast. Welcome back. Justice Brett Kavanaugh will begin hearing cases with the Supreme Court this week. Kavanaugh will be publicly sworn in to the nation's highest court tonight. He was privately sworn in on Saturday, just hours after a close confirmation battle in the Senate. It was a bitter fight between Democrats and Republicans, and both sides are already using that to energize voters for the 2018 midterm elections, now less than a month away, which is... Pretty surprising. I know it's coming up quick. Team 12's Tracy Potts. She's live on Capitol Hill for us this morning. Yeah. Tracy, what has the reaction been since the confirmation vote, and what are we looking to this week? Sure, and then Mike, so we've got people who are explaining their votes and explaining what happened, and in some cases still complaining about what happened. And we've also got people who are looking forward on both sides, trying to use what's happened here, very political judicial process, to try to influence what happens at the ballot box in November. A public swearing in for justice, Brett Kavanaugh is set for tonight. 
He's going to be on the Supreme Court with a huge taint and a big asterisk after his name. We must not agonize. We must organize, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi tells Democrats. They're urging thousands who demonstrated to speak out again with their vote in November. If we want to correct the course, what do we need to do? We need to take the power. But Republicans... I'm happy as a clam. ...are ready to move on. The overreach of the uh, protesters at the Capitol have actually energized the Republican base. At risk, Maine Susan Collins. She voted yes for Kavanaugh as opponents raised some three and a half million dollars for whoever runs against her in two years. I have to do what I think is right. And over the years, the people of Maine have trusted me to exercise my best judgment. That's what I did in this case. There's talk of an effort to impeach Kavanaugh on sexual misconduct allegations the FBI says were not substantiated. Even some Democrats say that's too much. And I think talking about it at this point um, isn't necessarily healing us and moving us forward. The fallout may depend on which party can turn out the vote less than one month from today. And speaking of today, the ceremonial swearing in, he's already been officially sworn in, but Kavanaugh's ceremonial swearing in, the big public one, happens tonight, and then he's set to take the bench tomorrow morning. Tracy, question for you before we let you go. Uh, we're hearing a lot of talk on Capitol Hill about impeachment of Brett Kavanaugh. Has this ever happened, and, and could this be a reality? It's happened. It was a really long time ago. The last time a Supreme Court justice was impeached, Mike, was 200 years ago, over 200 years ago. Uh, and even in that case, the Senate cleared him, so he wasn't kicked off uh, the bench. Interestingly, it was for being too political in his decision making. <laughs> but no, this is not something that's common at all. It rarely ever happens, right? It is interesting because, you know, that's the allegation that, that Democrats have here now that they're concerned about Kavanaugh and, and how he might decide some of these cases. But uh, this was a really long time ago. Now, whether or not that's going to happen here, you know, as you heard, even some Democrats don't really have an appetite for that right now. Right. All right, Tracy, thanks a lot. 544 is your time. Let's take a look at how your roads are shaping up. How's the commute, Tricia? Things are looking good. A little bit better than earlier, as a matter of fact. You can see not as many things popping up on our map, especially those vehicle fires. Those are all clear now. So that's nice to hear. Over here, we do still have quite a bit of hiccups in the road, and that's all because of a big sinkhole. So you can see the restriction. Cactus Road westbound. This is 33rd to 37th Avenues. 35th Avenue northbound from Shaw Butte to Weathersfield. And then Cactus, that's eastbound from 37th to 33rd, and as, as well as 35th Avenue southbound Weathersfield to Shabu. So just avoid Cactus and 35th altogether. Maybe take Shea or anywhere south of there. In and around the downtown Phoenix area, you can start to see some red building up, meaning drivers are putting on the brakes a little bit uh, just because of the typical morning slow and go, but no major crashes or delays caused from crashes. As for everything in the East Valley, things are all up to speed right now. Taking a live look outside, a live look at the I-10 eastbound at Salt River Bridge. Earlier, it looked a little more backed up, so things are picking up now. Jen? All right, thank you, Trisha. Nice to see a good morning traffic wise, weather wise as well. Upper 50s is all in Phoenix. A chilly one as you are waking up with upper 50s in Mesa, 55 Chandler, 53 South Americopa, 57 in Goodyear, and 53 West in Buckeye. We're staying dry this morning, a few thin clouds across the valley. We're keeping the rain and snow to the north and east. It looks like just south of Flagstaff, those highest peaks above about 7,500 feet could be getting a little bit of snow right now. Not expecting much accumulation there, but if you are on some of those roads, it might be a little icy this morning. Yesterday, the last 24 hours got a nice dose of rain, about two tenths of an inch in Avondale, a little more than a tenth of an inch in Phoenix, two tenths of an inch in Scottsdale, a little bit more than that in Mesa Fountain Hills at nearly a half of an inch this morning. We're looking at a freeze warning for the high country that does include Flagstaff, Heber Overgaard and Sholo, so that'll be in effect until about 8 a.m. As far as your satellite radar goes, we're pushing things ahead with your future cast. So we have rain possible later today. Then we're drier by tomorrow afternoon around 2 p.m. in Phoenix. Could see a sprinkle or two just south of Flagstaff, but most of the rain is going to be into the east in New Mexico. 
with snow north of Albuquerque. As far as your future cast goes for late in the day, Wednesday, we're dry across Arizona and then Thursday, another tropical system could affect us. This is Sergio that we're looking at here and we could be getting some rain across Phoenix and the high country too. So we're watching that more rain and cooler temperatures. Just gorgeous today. 76 for Ajo, 79 Gila Bend, 74 in Casa Grande, 77 Phoenix. 57 Sedona, Winslow, 45 Flagstaff, and 49 is all. That's your high today in Sholo. This time of year, we should be at 92 in the valley. We're at 77. Tomorrow, we get to stay in the 70s. We dry out. And then by Thursday, Friday, Saturday, more rain possible in the forecast. But all in all, man, it is just a gorgeous forecast. All right. Thanks, Jen. We were going to show you some really pretty pictures of the snow in Arizona, <laughs> but unfortunately, we have technical difficulties. I saw you morning. guys working the screen over there. Yeah, well, <laughs> beautiful pictures so, of snow in Arizona. Six inches in some parts, which is just crazy to me. You heard yeah. from Jen that there is another chance of some showers later on in the week. If you do have some beautiful pictures, I promise we're going to get to you. <laughs> some of them at some point, but you can send them into us. Just use that hashtag beyond 12. We would love to see what your backyard looked like yesterday or even waking up this morning. If it's yeah, still I will cool. say coming from the Pacific Northwest, I love Arizona. I mean, I love it because the Did weather they? right now is this. I know and people this is are not normal. It's not okay, well because I'm still loving Arizona because where I came from in eastern Washington yeah. looks like northern Arizona right now and I'm loving it. I'm loving talking to my friends out there and saying I am an Arizonan. I'm Love shocked that we are we are this <laughs> chilly yeah. this early. I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. I will take I'm it. Not gonna, I'm not going to question it. All right. Well, enjoy your stay without getting scammed. What you need to know before you book an Airbnb on this Money Saving Monday. Are you crying? Oh. Are you crying? <laughs> There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. Classic. That There's also crazy. no screaming at your kids in baseball. The reminder to parents, it's now going viral. Today, Arizona is a national leader in solar energy. We rank third in the country. We're doing it the Arizona way while keeping electricity affordable. But Prop 127 would impose California-style mandates and cost Arizona families $1,000 per year. California tried this, and their electric rates are increasing three times the national average. We all want a clean energy future. Let's keep doing it the Arizona way. Vote no on Prop 127. As an informed voter, you have the power to shape our future. Citizens Clean Elections Commission is your source for unbiased voter information, so you can take aim on the issues that matter most. Connect with the facts at azcleanelections.gov. Under Doug Ducey, Arizona has added 240,000 new jobs. Wages are up. David Garcia would put that at risk. Garcia supports higher taxes on everyone and says families absolutely need to pay more. Garcia supports making Arizona the fifth highest income tax state in the country. That will drive jobs away. Garcia won't just make our border less secure. No wall in southern Arizona. David Garcia, risky ideas, wrong for Arizona. Get ready to retire the way you want. If you do not have a target income plan for retirement, you're guaranteed not to hit it. Targeted income to sustain your family's needs, we can help. Oxford Retirement. everyone, the furniture isn't hooked up. You can't use it. What does that even mean? It won't be hooked up for another week. That's absurd. <sighs> I told you. You don't wait to use your furniture. Why wait to use your internet? Get up and running on day one. Switch to Cox and get up to one gig speeds everywhere. Plans starting at $29.99 per month. Watch this. It's fine. It's not hooked up. But it's right here. But it's not hooked up. You can't use it. Keep trying. 
This is the worst. This is the worst. Don't wait for great internet. Cox High Speed Internet starting at $29.99 per month. Plus, ask about panoramic Wi Fi for wall to wall fast speeds. You're right, it's not hooked up. Get up and running on day one. Only Cox offers speeds up to one gig everywhere. Plans starting at just $29.99 per month. Call and switch today. Today, Arizona is a national leader in solar energy. We rank third in the country. We're doing it the Arizona way while keeping electricity affordable. But Prop 127 would impose California-style mandates and cost Arizona families $1,000 per year. California tried this, and their electric rates are increasing three times the national average. We all want a clean energy future. Let's keep doing it the Arizona way. Vote no on Prop 127. Welcome back, everyone. 552, grab your 12 news to go before you head out the door this morning. The U.S. is making progress with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. That's according to Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who made his fourth visit to the country. He's pursuing a deal to get Kim to give up his nuclear weapons. Bill Cosby's lawyers are trying to get his conviction and sentence for sex assault overturned. He was sentenced to three to ten years in prison last month after he was found guilty on three counts of felony sex assault. His lawyers are arguing there was a string of trial errors. A happy update about the Thai soccer team rescued from that flooded cave. They're headed to the Youth Olympics to help with the opening ceremony in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The 12 boys and their coach were trapped in that cave for almost three weeks before they're rescued back in July. Wow. Getting kids to bed earlier isn't just good for kids. It might make moms way more healthy, too. A new study found kids with earlier bedtimes had a healthier quality of life, and it gives moms more time to wind down, take care of themselves. Researchers say having kids doesn't really impact men's sleeping. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what? Does that noise just that make sounds, your skin crawl? That's annoying. That's, yes. It is. Well, if you hate the sound of snacking on food, Mike, you might be a creative genius. Really? Researchers found people annoyed or distracted <laughs> by those sounds right there are more intelligent and creative compared to others. It's called misophonia. It's a condition that impacts nearly 20% of people. No wonder my wife's so smart. When I chew gum, it drives her insane. Really Stop chewing gum like that! <laughs> so, there you go, baby. Well, yeah. <laughs> if you have kids in Little League, you probably have something to say about a brand new sign that's gone up in Tennessee. Check this thing out. A nonprofit Little League in Knoxville had the signs installed after years of parents getting way too intense at games. Oh, it says, I'm a kid. It's just a game. My coach is a volunteer. The officials are humans. No college scholarships will be handed out today. There's been okay. some backlash online, as you can imagine. But the league's director stands by the signs. I love this. What's the backlash about? I, I don't. I couldn't imagine because I played baseball my entire life. Played in college, little minor leagues. And there's always one parent at the game or a coach that's a little overbearing. I mean, I had it all through. Your, and you just want to. You just want to go. Hey, be quiet, man. Yes. These are kids. And it's not a big deal. <laughs> no, it's not. It's Little League. Because, it, I mean, what the sign says is perfect. What does it say at the end? No college scholarships right. will be handed out exactly. today. They're 12 years old. <laughs> yes. It, it drives me crazy when I see that. It what really were does. your parents like? My, my because dad, you were you were very competitive. Yeah, so my, my dad never yelled. He um, he was kind of a quiet authority. So, you know, yeah. after the game, he would kind of go over what was, but but never a yeller. So which I always appreciated. Oh man, I just was glad my parents yeah. showed up. <laughs> yeah. with my eight other siblings <laughs> still ahead on 12 today. <laughs> Democratic U.S. Senate candidate Kirsten Cinema is live in Studio 12A. What she has to say about Justice Kavanaugh's confirmation. And a place to play that's out of this world. We're going to infinity and beyond. I, I really wanted to say that. It's at the Science Center's newest exhibit. We'll tell you what it is. Let it snow, <laughs> or please know. What are you feeling after this weekend of, yes, winter-like conditions in Arizona in early October? Sound off, 12news.com slash your voice. We would love to oh, the weather and enjoy these pics. Frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. 
shows no signs of stopping. The energy industry is the heart of the Navajo Nation. We are Navajo owned, we are Navajo operated. That's something we're very proud of. If Prop 127 does pass, we could lose it all as a community. My kids might not have a future. This job, it's everything to me. It's our home, it's our future. Why would you want to take that away? Prop 127 will hurt the Navajo Nation and the state of Arizona. Vote no on Prop 127. Kirsten Cinema argued for giving an easy defense to men caught with child prostitutes. So very wrong. But there's more, and it's a troubling pattern. Kirsten Cinema voted against tougher penalties for criminals who commit drive-by shootings. She was wrong again. Cinema even opposed a bill that increased penalties for assaulting Arizona police officers. Kirsten Cinema talks moderate, but her radical record puts us all at risk. Defend Arizona is responsible for the content of this advertising. Growing up, I remembered the stress my parents were under. They worked hard, but the cost of my sister's treatment was overwhelming. We nearly lost everything. Today, too many families know exactly what that feels like. And in Congress, I'll tackle skyrocketing health care and prescription drug costs. I'll fight to ensure Medicare can negotiate lower prices. You can trust I'll work for you because I'll never take a dime from the drug companies. I'm Greg Stanton, and I approve this message. I'm Kirsten Cinema, and I approve this message. It's been declared morally bankrupt, the disgraceful campaign for Martha McSally. Now it turns out McSally could bankrupt your Medicare, too. After campaign promises to protect it, Martha McSally actually voted to cut our Medicare. And even voted to turn it into a voucher system, which the Wall Street Journal confirmed would essentially end Medicare. It's true. Martha McSally, if she'll lie about our Medicare, she will lie about anything. Governor Ducey has spent millions attacking me for a simple reason. Our schools are falling apart, and he put special interests before families. In the U.S. Army, I swore an oath to defend America. As a teacher, I've committed my life to children's education. And as governor, I will invest in our schools, defend Arizona's borders, and put you first. I'm David Garcia. So when you see Ducey's attacks, remember his record and vote for your future. Today only, the gigantic Southwest Spa Show at the Peoria Sports Complex. Save up to half off hot tubs and swim spas. 0% financing. Instant factory rebates. Hot tubs from $39.90. Swim spas, $11.990. Hurry to the Southwest Spa Show ends 5 p.m. today. SWSpaShow.com. That's a mini wheat. Delicious. But it's more than that. Ten layers of crunchy wheat to fill you up on big days. Whether your day involves steam, mountains, or whoa, fire. We've got your breakfast right here. Is your breakfast built for big days? You're watching 12 News, Arizona's most watched station. Right now on 12 Today, does it feel like fall now? Mm-hmm. Storms bring rain, snow, and cooler temperatures to Arizona. You are not going to believe your seven-day forecast. And a historic launch leads to a bit of panic in the valley. What lit up the sky and social media? We have a lot to be happy about this morning. The Cardinals bring home their first win of the season. We go inside the locker room for the keys to the victory. Good morning, everyone. A very happy Monday to you. Thanks for joining us right here on 12 Today. I'm Emma Jade. And I'm Mike Gonzalez in for Paul. We are all excited. Cardinals got a big win. Defense played great. It was just awesome to see. It really was. What else is awesome is that weather. Oh, I'm loving this. I absolutely I, I almost it. have to pinch myself Jen yeah. because it doesn't seem like this is right <laughs> no, no it doesn't I feel like we're in November December yeah. usually we have to wait so long to get these temperatures but man it is just gorgeous outside right now 59 it is chilly this morning waking up on your Monday so make sure you bundle up mostly sunny skies today could get a few rain showers later in the afternoon but right now we're dry across Phoenix just a few spotty showers in the high country a little bit of snow falling above about 7,500 feet. Your high today, this is not a joke, only 77 degrees this time of year. We should be in the low 90s. Oh, it's just so nice to have this relief. So coming up next in my full forecast, we'll take a look at your seven day and talk more rain chances on the way. Trisha. All right, Jen, looks good. We'll take it on our traffic story. Things are busy. We actually had a couple of fender benders <coughs> pop up 
and then in the clearing stages pretty quickly. So that's how we like to see it if we've got to have it. We do have a crash on the I-17 southbound at Thomas Road. So you can see this yellow starting to build right here, meaning drivers are putting on the brakes into the 40s. And then along the I-10, that's our typical morning slow and go. And that starts all the way out west at 83rd Avenue, actually extending even further to the Loop 101 in the West Valley. We also have a crash in the clearing stages on the Loop 101 eastbound. That one's at 7th Avenue. And then over here is the big mess that we have all stemming from that sinkhole. So just avoid Cactus Road altogether, anywhere between 33rd and 37th Avenues, and then you will actually be moving, not up against any of those restrictions. So you can see downtown Phoenix area, things are getting busier than usual. Mike? All right, Trisha, thanks so much. Time now is 6.02. Let's get you up to speed on some news as we start today. A repairman with a blowtorch may be to blame for an apartment fire in Tempe. Firefighters busy knocking down flames near University and Priest late last night. It's not known how many units were affected, but fortunately no one was hurt. A Northern Arizona University student in some serious trouble for listing a dorm room <laughs> on Airbnb. You had to know better. <laughs> I mean, come on. NAU officials say they have contacted the vacation rental site, had the listing removed. The student remains enrolled, but is facing disciplinary action for violating school policy. 25 yard line, play action on first down and has a lot of time and he's going to go deep and there is Christian Kirk who's wide open and Kirk will score on the first play from scrimmage. You got to love that. Two rookies getting it done. The Cardinals getting it done as well, winning their first game of the season, beating a division rival, the San Francisco 49ers, 28 to 18. A big reason for the win, the play of the defense. They were balling out yesterday. Chandler Jones uh, really played well. Here's Team 12's Paul Gerke with the keys to yesterday's game. Last week, analysts estimated the Cardinals left some 150 yards on the table solely as the result of dropped passes. The birds did have a few drops Sunday, too, but this time around, Josh Rosen's stats were handicapped more so by his own inaccuracy. That said, I'm not going to spend this segment riding the rookie over some overthrows. Instead, let's take a look at what he did right, and there's no better example than Arizona's first offensive snap. Mike McCoy bucking some of his conservative tendencies and runs play action on first down. Keep your eyes on Christian Kirk at the top of your screen. He's going deep on this play. He is the guy to watch, but I also want you to pay close attention to the pocket that the Cardinals O-line gives Josh Rosen to throw here. Look how clean that is. He's able to take a couple steps forward and deliver a beautiful deep ball to Christian Kirk. You may be wondering, how does a guy with the skill set of Kirk get this wide open? Well, sometimes you get a gift from the defense. Watch the replay as Kirk runs his route. The safety is going to enter from the bottom of the screen. He's got his eyes on Kirk and not the football. He takes a horrible angle, and that allows Christian to keep his cushion. First career tutty for the kid from Saguaro High. I'm sure he's celebrating accordingly. All right, fast forward to the third quarter. Cards on defense now. We just saw how Rosen took advantage of a clean pocket. Pay attention to how 49ers quarterback C.J. Beathard does not do that. Now, credit to Chandler Jones. He puts a good rip move on the tackle there. But look at all this space that Beathard has. He could take a couple steps forward and get away from Jones. He doesn't. Instead, Beathard languishes in the back of the pocket and allows Jones to reach out and knock the ball away. It's not all about a QB's arm. His footwork and pocket awareness are just as important. But then again, what are you supposed to do about a guy like Chandler Jones when he's playing as well as he played on Sunday? Last clip here. This is nightmare fuel for offensive coordinators. Jones should not physically be able to make this play. He's up against the tight end here. The fullback is also going to come over and get a piece of him too. They're trying to chip him. It's essentially a double team. But as Jay-Z once said, you need more people. Watch as Jones gets right through the two of them. He beats the tight end and the fullback completely whiffs on him. Jones is able to haul down the ball carrier behind the line of scrimmage. Season high six tackles, forced fumble, and his fourth sack of the year. Just another day in the office for the leader of the Cardinals defense. 606. All I know is they won. You know about the 4 3 defense now. <laughs> yeah, well, <clears throat> sure do. SpaceX does it again, successfully launching and landing a rocket. But this time was a little bit different because it happened for the first time on the West Coast. Yeah, this is so neat. And the streak of light coming from that rocket had our phones lighting up in our newsroom. Team 12's Adam Bagney joins us live in studio with details on what happened during this launch and why there was so much response. Hey there. Hey, good morning, guys. You know, as you said, the calls and the emails, they were pouring in last night. People wondering, 
What the heck was that? What was going on in the night sky? Well, we can confirm it was not an alien encounter. It was significant, though, nevertheless, as SpaceX landed one of its rockets in California, as Emma mentioned, for the first time ever. Now, SpaceX has previously landed rockets on land in Florida, but again, never on the West Coast. And that's exactly what happened yesterday. This is called a first stage booster, and it took off from Vandenberg Air Force Base. It's about 130 miles northwest of L.A. at around 7.20 Arizona time yesterday evening. The so-called Falcon 9 carried an Argentinian observation satellite into space before it returned back to Earth. And everybody was sharing this on uh, on social media. This is our tag board here, and these are all photos and videos taken from people in Arizona. That one was from Yuma. You can see this photo from Dory is from Phoenix. All of these people sharing and wondering what it was that they saw last night. Now, if you were in California, you not only saw the rocket, you heard it as well. It created a huge sonic boom, as you see a photo there from Surprise as well, upon its return into the atmosphere. And the reason, guys, that these landings are so significant is because SpaceX can now reuse this booster, which, of course, will cut down significantly on the cost of the launches. You might remember when SpaceX first started these launches, guys, mm -hmm. they had a bunch of problems with them. They exploded yeah. and the company almost went bankrupt. Now they're landing these uh, these you know, rockets right back on Earth. It's pretty amazing. And reusing them. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. We'll All right. Taking rides soon. Thanks, Thanks, Adam. Adam. 608, deal or no deal. Business is booming for vacation rental businesses and opening the door to scary new scams. So coming up at 615, how to cut your cost and stay safe on this Money Saving Monday. And I'm just hanging around in space this morning with some pretty cool galaxy socks. I'm going to tell you how you can bring your kids out, adults too. Have fun here at the Arizona Science Center. No shoes required. I like that. <laughs> but first, can you guess who tweeted this? Great team win. The answer in three minutes. Over 30 million people have made manifest TV's number one new show. You're one of the chosen. She was killed because she was on that plane. Any one of us could be next. Who are you? Manifest, tonight, 10, 9 central on NBC. Now to our journey across America. When we get done, Chicago will be the safest big city in this country. You're talking about housing. I'm talking about employment opportunities. We see, and for the Heroes first time, emerging stories that impact hometowns and foster. Opening day at Turf Paradise is Saturday, October 13th. Live horse racing, free t-shirts, a kid's fun park, plus ceremonies honoring veterans, Native American veterans, and first responders. Grandstand admission is $3. Gates open at 11. October 13th, opening day at Turf Paradise, 19th Ave and Bell. Under Doug Ducey, Arizona has added 240,000 new jobs. Wages are up. David Garcia would put that at risk. Garcia supports higher taxes on everyone and says families absolutely need to pay more. Garcia supports making Arizona the fifth highest income tax state in the country. That will drive jobs away. Garcia won't just make our border less secure. No wall in southern Arizona. David Garcia, risky ideas, wrong for Arizona. Today, Arizona is a national leader in solar energy. We rank third in the country. We're doing it the Arizona way, while keeping electricity affordable. But Prop 127 would impose California-style mandates and cost Arizona families $1,000 per year. California tried this, and their electric rates are increasing three times the national average. We all want a clean energy future. Let's keep doing it the Arizona way. Vote no on Prop 127. The Maricopa County Home and Garden Show is back, and there's more than ever. I can't believe all the deals we found today. And there's just so much to see and do. Oh, there are a lot of good deals. I'm glad we came today. I oh, am too. Look at those iron entry doors. We need one of those. Yes. It's going to be so much easier finding the right company for our kitchen remodel. Agreed. Plus, that free urban veggie class will definitely help me with my garden. Wow. This home show has so many exhibitors. And other activities, too. This is Arizona's best home show and featuring Ty Pennington. I'm Dr. Steve Ferrara. I was a combat surgeon, and now I treat veterans at the Phoenix VA Hospital. I've spent my whole life in service to others, and it's never mattered to me if they're Democrat or Republican. I believe in service and putting country first, even over political party. Career politicians like my opponent are only in it for themselves. They're the ones who got us into this mess. So if you want more of the same, vote for the other guy. I'm Dr. Steve Ferrara, and I approve this message.
Opening day at Turf Paradise is Saturday, October 13th. Live horse racing, free t-shirts, a kid's fun park, plus ceremonies honoring veterans, Native American veterans, and first responders. Grandstand admission is $3. Gates open at 11. October 13th, opening day at Turf Paradise, 19th Avenue Bell. Welcome back to 12 Today. Time to find out who tweeted this great team win. Any final guesses? Or? Bruce Arians. Uh, I would Still supporting the team. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Buda Baker. Buda Baker. Okay. There you go. Good. Still in support, too. I it, like that. It was a great team win, though. Yeah. It sure was. 6 12 is your time right now. All right, Trisha, what is going on on the roads? Well, a lot of busyness happening around Cactus, <laughs> unfortunately, because of that big sinkhole. So hopefully you can just dodge that area altogether and you won't have any delays. But over here we have a closure that just popped up. This is on 19th Avenue between Madison Street and Buchanan. And then north of here on the I-17 and southbound at Thomas Road, a crash right there as well. So you can see making your way into downtown Phoenix, the stack, the mini stack, and also the split. The split's actually up to speed, so that's nice. But the mini stack and the stack definitely putting on the brakes a little bit. This is what I was talking about, the big mess on cactus. So just avoid that altogether and you should have no problems this morning. Taking a wider look at the East Valley, things are looking good. This is where we had that crash on the I-17 southbound near Thomas. So it looks like things are uh, trickling right along, but hopefully things can pick up a little bit. Emma? Hey, good morning to you. We have some beautiful conditions this morning talking about a very fall like forecast, not like we what we typically get here in the desert southwest, maybe in the high country, but man, it just feels amazing outside 59 right now. Phoenix 58 Gila Bend low 40s north for Payson Prescott. We're in the low 50s in Safford freezing in Greer 63 Lake Havasu City and upper 30s this morning. Very cold up at the Grand Canyon. So if you're wondering if we're going to get any rain, maybe some snow in the high country today, we do have a little bit still fall very isolated spots just south of Flagstaff. The pink and the white, the snow, the green is the rain. We're dry in the valley. This from over the weekend. Want to thank Jean for sending in this beautiful photo. Looks more like winter in Sholo. And then this one, a double rainbow yesterday in the valley from Dan. So thanks to our 12 News Weather Watchers for these. We do have a freeze warning in effect for the high country just until about 8 o'clock this morning. Flagstaff, Heber, Sholo, all included in that right along the rim. Snow level down to about 7,500 feet this morning. Can't believe we're talking snow already. Early October could be some icy spots. Not expecting much accumulation from that. Future cast into motion, so we will do have a slight chance for rain later today across the valley of the high country. Most of that pushes east tomorrow. Wednesday, pretty dry across Arizona. And then Thursday, another chance for rain does roll in to the desert southwest. We should be at 92 this time of year, so it's just gorgeous. We're at 76. Seven, well below average. That's where we'll stay today in Phoenix. 64 Globe, 54 Payson, 57 Prescott, Sedona, 45 in Flagstaff, and 50 North at the Grand Canyon. Here's your seven day forecast. We'll stay in the 70s today and tomorrow by Wednesday, Thursday, low 80s. And that chance for rain rolls in by the end of the week into the weekend. Money Saving Monday is brought to you by Mid First Bank. 615 is your time. The vacation home rental business like Airbnb and HomeAway has exploded. The industry is now estimated at $100 billion, but fake rentals and bait and switch scams aren't the only thing that you have to worry about when you're booking. Yeah, unbelievable. On this Money Saving Monday, Team 12's Nicole Zymek shows us how to stay safe and actually get what you paid for. Karen Zaleski swears by home sharing websites. We love it because it's a really cheap way to travel. But recently, she didn't have a positive experience. She booked through Airbnb, but the place was not as advertised, to say the least. As soon as we walked in, you could tell that, that something wasn't right. The place smelled horrible. Karen and her husband did a little investigating and found a room where the owner kept pets in but didn't clean up after them. Airbnb gave her a full refund and removed the listing from its website. But Karen also noticed a carbon monoxide detector that was unplugged from the wall. A new study found only 56% of Airbnb listings had carbon monoxide detectors and only 42% had fire extinguishers. On its website, Airbnb has a page dedicated to safety, saying... 
We encourage every Airbnb host to install working smoke and carbon monoxide detectors and check them frequently. But Consumer Reports says these are only suggestions, which is why you should take a more proactive approach. Vacation rentals are not regulated in the same way as hotels, which means you really want to reach out to your host before you book. First, does the property have working smoke and carbon monoxide detectors? Two, is there a working fire extinguisher on the property? Three, does the property have an emergency safety card? Four, is there a first aid kit? And five, does the property meet local safety regulations? Another tip, use Airbnb Plus, which includes homes guaranteed to have smoke and carbon monoxide detectors, among other things. Nicole Zymek, 12 News. Good information, especially for the holidays hit. Still ahead on 12 today, your juicy question of the morning. A recent online poll found that 33% of people have committed this crime at a fast food restaurant. <laughs> Think you know what they did? Or maybe you did? Text Team 12, your guess is 602-444-1212. Taking too many ketchup packets, maybe? I, I don't know, is that a crime? Yeah. And we're dreaming of a white Christmas in October. Sunday storms brought several inches of snow to parts of the high country. We want to know what you think about it, of this early dusting. Looks beautiful, you hate it, you love it. Go to 12news.com slash your voice. Let us know. David Hastings. I used to be a defense attorney representing six of the largest auto insurance companies. That valuable experience helps me guide our team to get you every dollar you deserve while avoiding the traps that can hurt your case. You see, experience matters. We're accident lawyers. It's all we do. And in the end, our discount fee puts more money in your pocket. We charge less so you get more. Colette, celebrating 100 years of travel together. Liberal Katie Hobbs spent years voting for radical leftist policies that would make Arizona more like California. Higher taxes, more regulations, even funding sanctuary cities. Now Katie Hobbs says she'll use the office to elect more radical leftists. Steve Gaynor will run the office like a business. He'll fix the problems and protect our elections. Steve Gaynor for Secretary of State because this is Arizona, not California. These people, they speak a language we cannot understand. Deductible? Definitely speaking insurance. Additional interest on umbrella policy? Can you translate? Damage minimization of civil commotion. When insurance needs translating, get answers in plain English at progressiveanswers.com. He wants you to sign Karen's birthday card. It's a high honor. Just a few years ago, Arizona had a $1 billion budget deficit. Today, the budget is balanced. Red tape eliminated. Major employers are coming to all parts of Arizona. We've created hundreds of thousands of new jobs, and Arizona's unemployment rate is the lowest in a decade. The border is more secure, and our families are safer. We've done all this without raising taxes. A booming economy, a more secure border, a stronger Arizona. This is not a bed. It's a revolution in sleep. The new Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed is on sale now from $8.99 during Sleep Number's fall sale. It senses your movement and automatically adjusts to keep you both comfortable. It even helps with this. So you wake up ready to put your pedal to the metal. And now, during our fall sale weekend special, the Queen Sleep Number 360 C2 Smart Bed is only $8.99, plus 24-month financing and free home delivery. Ends Monday. Sleep Number, proven quality sleep. Hastings and Hastings, discount fees for accident victims. It's about time. Any 
excuse to play in sync in the morning. Oh, yeah. Fine by me. <laughs> Only in Arizona can you be a space cowboy. We're talking about a brand new space exhibit, perfect for the little ones on fall break this week. Yeah, it looks like so much fun. Team 12's Monica Garcia joins us live from the Arizona Science Center. Monica, what is the cosmic playground? I tell you what, anytime you can make learning this fun, slippery, <laughs> and this vis visual is okay with me. I think it's pretty terrific. And we were just talking about the excitement surrounding SpaceX. Um, this is a way you can get your kids excited about space, 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 space. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. I'm digging your shirt. Oh, well, thank you. It's all about space here in Cosmic Playground. I love this. Okay, so let's talk about this brand new exhibit. Oh, this yeah. is Cosmic Playground. This is supposed to be a, a wormhole of sorts. Yeah. So we use space items like wormholes, gravity wells, and just galaxies to inspire these structures. And they are all made out of packing tape. That is the craziest part. It is. And we took the ordinary, elevated to the extraordinary, and also have a little lesson here in engineering and material science because who's ever seen a climbing structure made out of packing tape? So the brand new exhibit opened over the weekend and you're inviting people to come out. We're getting a little tour because you guys open again at 10 o'clock this morning. I, I want Garrett to kind of showcase what we're looking at. There's photo opportunities where you can be big astronaut, little astronaut, although I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't reach the top one. <laughs> okay, there's a little stool there just in case so everybody can have their chance of being an aspiring astronaut in this space. Okay, I like this. So it's, it's a great space. We've got an astronaut hanging over there. And then is this Mars? It is. So we've got a fly through of Mars here with our ball hopper. So you can have a chance to sort of bounce through Mars. Again, it's just an inspiration of space and to start the conversation about learning about space. Uh, that's terrific. Uh, I can tell you that this is one of my favorite focal points. And I'm not sure how I'm going to get into this um, pit. Safely. I'm like this moment. What am I supposed to do? Just We're just gonna have to jump in. So here, I'll hold this while you get in, okay. and I'll follow you. Okay. All right. There you go. Oh, excellent job. All right. So I'm gonna hop in oh after you. Like a three-year-old. Okay, now this is fun, obviously, for all ages. Uh, it's just opened over the weekend. Parents can come out. Um, what do you want people to know? Uh, you know, this is just a great place for everybody to climb, slide, start exploring the galaxy, and to get inspired. I mean, what fun, more fun than to just relax in the Milky Way ball pit and have a chance to climb through space. Don't forget your socks. They won't let you in without your socks. If you don't have them, they sell some pretty rad socks. Mine are galaxy-inspired. Your look, Yours look a little bit more like Shark Week, but I I dig it. Sock. I like that. Okay, from uh, AZ Science Center, what do I do? I'm here, I'm, I'm gravity, I'm okay. floating. I feel like that ball pit was going to be a little bit deeper. Times the stars <laughs> yeah. in the Milky Way, as we have balls in this ball pit, but just a little bit of fun to have here. All right, guys, back to you. All right, she looks like she's out. She, she always has fun. Yeah, 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 really. Nice, nice gig. She owns it. All right, thanks, Monica. That would be really fun to take the kids this mm -hmm. week. Then again, you got to get out and enjoy the nice temperature. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm on so a hike, I'm on yes. a run. It's incredible. Yeah. Everything. All right, juicy question of the morning, you guys. A recent online poll found that 33% of people have committed this crime at a fast food restaurant. We've had some guesses. Did asked for a stealing? cup of water and <laughs> ended up getting soda at the oh, self-service Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah that is a good one. We actually had a few. Another one said the order was to go, but then ate at the restaurant. I didn't know that. <laughs> is that a I feel like, I, I feel like I've taken mind. too many packs. Have you ever done this? <laughs> like, like you've taken too many napkins? You know, you're like, yeah. Oh. And you're like, that was a big sack of napkins. I Maybe I should. a lot of napkins. So Apparently, okay but then, when you have right? kids, you know. Did you say ketchup packets? Oh, I've taken too many. I'm not saying that I stole them. I've taken too many, perhaps. You feel guilty. save them? You throw them away? I wind up throwing them away, and I think, why did I? I always do that. It's like, why did I take so many ketchup yeah. packets? Right. And then He's I want confessing. to throw them. Yeah. I feel like it's something with double dipping. <laughs> totally. That's what yeah. I keep thinking. But My oh, sister yeah. in college used to take the extra toilet paper. That's stealing. Oh, really? That's actually like stealing. An actual role? Eliza. Yes. Uh oh, Eliza. <laughs> now we know. Oh, my goodness. Text us your guesses, everyone. 602 444 1212. So, wrap on that one, huh? Yeah. All right. Arizona voters are just weeks away from making history. And one woman who could make it happen is joining us live in studio. Yes, that's right. Democratic candidate for U.S. Senate Kirsten Cinema answers your questions. That's coming up in just three minutes. And we're everywhere A to Z, tasting the country flavors at Harold's Corral Restaurant in Cave Creek. You're going to love it.
Through the years, we've learned that there are a lot of things we trust more than an insurance company. Like road tripping with a croc or letting my dog do my taxes. Get the picture. Murdering rope is the way to go. Call 977 as the Vice President of the National Border Patrol Council, I represent more than 15,000 border agents. We need leaders who will help us fix the border crisis. Kirsten Cinema opposed funding to help law enforcement fight the drug cartels, and she supported dangerous sanctuary city policies. Kirsten Cinema is weak on border security. The National Border Patrol Council is proud to endorse Martha McSally for Senate. We know Martha has our back, and she'll do what it takes to secure the border. I'm Martha McSally, and I approve this message. Like you, we call Arizona home. That's why we're advancing Arizona's clean energy future. Today, our energy mix is already 50% clean. We have 10 large-scale solar plants across the state and innovative battery storage that makes solar available at night. Around the state, Arizonans are rolling up their sleeves and going to work to make our energy cleaner, more reliable, and affordable. For today and tomorrow. APS, keeping Arizona on. Here's what Arizonans say about Washington politician Martha McSally. They say McSally's principles and positions took a back seat to political ambition. They say McSally committed a total flip-flop on dreamers. They say she's disingenuous, a liar, once upon a time must have had a backbone. The most important thing they say, don't let McSally fool you. So get the facts. Arizona just can't trust Martha McSally. DSCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Cancer, it's very personal. At Cancer Treatment Centers of America, we use diagnostic tools that help us better understand what drives each person's cancer. Like Christine Bray, after battling ovarian cancer for several years, her test results revealed a drug therapy that targeted her tumor. Today, Christine's metastatic cancer is in remission. We're not just fighting cancer. We're outsmarting it, and we're now seeing patients at our new outpatient care centers. Dr. Sharota created your cold probiotic drink over 80 years ago. Wow, there are so many choices. Which ones are probiotics? Which ones are not fat? How about the product with Lactobacillus casei Sharota? Yakult contains a probiotic strain Lactobacillus casei Sharota. Enjoy Yakult with your family. Today only, the gigantic Southwest Spa Show at the Peoria Sports Complex. Save up to half off hot tubs and swim spas. 0% financing. Instant factory rebates. Hot tubs from $39.90. Swim spas $11.90. Hurry to the Southwest Spa Show ends 5 p.m. today. SWSpaShow.com. Head on 12 today, less than a month away from the midterms, the U.S. Senate race really heating up. It, it's been heated up. Democrat Kirsten Cinema is in studio with us. The deadliest crash in a decade. Friends and family mourn after 20 people die in a limo accident. And a taste of country right here in the valley. We are going everywhere from A to Z. We're going to be in Cave Creek. An iconic piece of art goes up for sale, but it's what happens when it's sold that left the whole room speechless. Can't wait for that one. That is iconic. Yeah, you see that right. everywhere, printed everywhere. All right, well, good morning. Thanks for joining us on 12 Today. I'm Mike Gonzalez in for Paul Gerke this morning. And I'm Emma Jade. What a difference a few weeks makes. Oh. Ridiculous. Temps are really, so really, nice. like we're serious cooling down. I'm wearing a turtleneck across the state. I know. You are owning that turtleneck, and you're, get, you're getting a lot of props for it, too. Well, you got to do it. Everybody's loving that outfit. This is like the one day where I feel <laughs> where like you can, can do actually this. wear it. We got rain here in the valley, and then look at these pictures. What happened up north? Arizona Snow Bowl got six inches of snow. Williams and Sholo, they also had some early October snow, and it's just beautiful. And the National Weather Service saying this was the ninth earliest measurable snow on record. So my first year here, I'm I'm loving Arizona right now. But you were like, this doesn't happen in October. No, 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 this <laughs> isn't normal. The kids are sweating in uh, on in their Halloween on their costume. Halloween costumes. Yes, you know it's weird when you look at how this year has gone, Jen, because yeah. we've broken records with heat. And now we're breaking records with 
how with cold it is and the snow. So what what is going on? That's right. Well, we've just had some tropical systems coming up from the south. So that's really helping us cool down. It's helping bring us a lot of rain. We have another one possibly on the way by the end of this week. So we're just really excited to see all of that because we're usually so hot this time of year. You're out at the pumpkin patches and you're trying to enjoy fall and do everything with the kids and you're just dying outside. So hey, this week, if you're not working during the day, a perfect one to get out and enjoy those even this weekend. We're at 59 right now in the valley. Mostly sunny to partly sunny skies today. A very slight chance for storms later this afternoon. It's going to be chilly. Grab that jacket as you're heading out the door. We'll stay in the upper 50s through 7 a.m. 60s through 11. 70s by noon and we do not get out of the 70s today. We rarely get to say that in early October. So coming up next in my full forecast, we are talking rain plus snow in the high country. Trisha will have more details on that. All right, Jen, thanks so much. Taking a look at our traffic story today, pretty good morning as far as our Monday morning commute, but we do have a couple hiccups here I want to get to, and one because of a sinkhole. We had a couple of vehicle fires, so it's been a busy morning, but you wouldn't be able to tell uh, by the looks of our map now because the cleanup is underway. So right here we do have a closure. So this is 19th Avenue between Madison Street and Buchanan Street. So there may be some brake lights in and around the downtown Phoenix area. This is where we have a big mess. This is due to that sinkhole, so avoid cactus if you can. Take Shea and th then you'll be good to go. But anywhere between 33rd and 37th avenues, that's where we're going to see a lot of brake lights this morning because of those restrictions. As for everything in the East Valley, though, things are all up to speed. Taking a live look outside, a gorgeous shot here in the distance as the sun is coming up and a live look at the I-10 eastbound. That's at 91st Avenue. Okay. All right. Thanks, Trisha. 632 is your time. The 2018 Senate race will end with Arizona's first ever female senator. But the race to get there, boy, is it tight. A recent Suffolk University Arizona Republic poll shows Democrat Kirsten Sinema is leading voters with 44.6%. Republican Martha McSally trailed by three percentage points. Important to note here in this poll that the results fall within the uh, poll's margin of error. You've heard from a Republican candidate, Martha McSally, on 12 today, but this morning we are joined in Studio 12A by Democrat Kirsten Sinema. First of all, thank you so much. I know it took a while to get this all set up because I can't imagine how busy your schedule is. Just a little. Oh. Just a hair bit. We asked her how much she sleeps. Like she's working out, you know, she's still working out. Right. I give her props for that. When we asked how much you slept, you just said no. <laughs> no, that's not happening. But you know, we're almost there. We want to start off with, of course, big news that happened over the weekend for the confirmation of now Justice Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court, 50-48 vote. If you were in that, that spot where you would have voted, which way would you have gone and why? Well, first, I, I think I share the concerns of most Arizonans when I say that this process was completely broken. It was a circus, and it really denigrated what we as Arizonans deserve. We should have had an open and transparent process for one of the most important decisions in our country. And I was incredibly disappointed when I saw politicians, in, including my opponent, who within hours of hearing about his nomination said, oh, he's the best ever or he's the worst ever. They had no idea. We needed the time to do the research and follow the hearings. And unfortunately, you know, the Senate decided not to make the results of their investigation open. Public. And that was really disappointing because we deserve that transparency. And I, I just feel like this whole process was was sad and yeah. and not fair to Arizonans. I know that you will be, you know, whoever wins in November will be taken over for Senator Jeff Flake. How did you feel he handled this situation? Because it was different than a lot of his Republicans. And you see him making kind of different choices mm -hmm. as he nears the end of his Senate seat. So how did you think he handled that? Well, I was disappointed when the committee voted to move forward without an investigation. But when he called for the investigation, I was grateful. I was disappointed a week later mm -hmm. when we didn't get the results from the investigation. But moving forward with an investigation was absolutely the right step. And it's what the American people deserve. And Congresswoman, I, I want to ask you this. You know, you brand yourself as fiercely independent. But uh, the I website, do like the way you said that. Yeah, I mean, it's all, it, honestly, it's all across your website. But, you know, as I did research, the, the website 538 says you actually vote with President Trump more than 60 percent of the time. A lot of the legislation that you supported, really, you look more like a Republican in a lot of senses. Why do you still labor yourself a Democrat? Well, I believe that when the president's doing something that's right for our state, I'm going to stand with him. 
And that would be an example of the work that we're doing on veterans. We agree mm -hmm. on those areas. But when he's doing something that's wrong for our state, I'm not afraid to stand up and say it's wrong. Like the work he's doing on tariffs, which are really bad for Arizona businesses mm -hmm. and farmers. And you know, my approach is just to call the balls and the strikes as I see them. Mm -hmm. So if it's good for us, I'll say yes. If it's bad for us, I'll say no. And I don't really care whether or not it's a Republican or Democratic issue. What I care about is whether it's right for Arizona families and for everyday people. Uh, we, of course, this election is beyond historic, especially for women in Arizona, to finally have a female representing us in the Senate and representing our state. But when we've seen this election, I mean, it's either you or Martha McSally, it has become so divisive. And it almost those political ads are almost hard to stomach. They're hard to watch sometimes. Why do you think that is? Is it the issues that separate you guys so much? What are, what are the problems that we're seeing within this race that has made it so divisive? Well, Emma, unfortunately, Martha has chosen to run a really divisive campaign. And so she's running ads that are just lies and attacks against me. And that's her choice. But I think it's unfair to Arizonans. The ads that I'm running and the words that I'm sharing with Arizonans are based on the issues and the values that we share. So I'm staying laser focused on the issues that matter to everyday people. She can run a negative campaign if she wants to, but I'm not going to participate in that. And what are those issues to you that you want to make sure people, especially this morning who are watching, that they associate with you as they go in? I am so glad you've asked that because the number one issue I hear from Arizonans as I travel the state is their concern around health care, yeah. their attempts to try and take away health care from people who have pre-existing conditions. There's a woman I know named Leslie who was diagnosed with diabetes when she was in high school. She takes five insulin shots a day. And if the law changes, she will lose access to that health care coverage. That's really dangerous for Arizonans. The age tax, which would hurt Arizonans age 50 to 64, cost them to pay as much as five times more for their health insurance. These are the number one issues that I hear from when I talk to Arizonans around the state. I do want to talk a little bit about border security as well as immigration. You supported a resolution to back ICE. You supported yes. Kate's Law, Criminal Alien Gang Member Act. You also voted for a bill that would punish sanctuary cities. That's uh, right. How can people trust, you know, especially in the Latino community, mm -hmm. when I talk to, to members in that community, that you will actually fight for immigration reform? Yeah. And a lot of people concerned about ICE rounding up people. You know, a lot of families who are here legally have some family members that are here illegally, and they think at, at times you're not fighting for them. Well, the first and most important thing to do and to always remember is that we have to keep our country and community safe. And so bills like Kate's Law and the Gang Removal Act allow us to target the bad guys who are hurting innocent people in our community. We also need to enact smart, comprehensive immigration reform that lets good people come into the country legally. And so we've got to make sure that we're balancing those interests. ICE provides a very important function in our country. They arrest and to help us deport the bad guys. But we've got to protect and provide a path to citizenship for the good guys like our dreamers, the kids who've graduated from our high schools and done so much work to be a part of the American community. So we've got to find that smart balance and be reasonable about the approach we move forward with. What do the next 29 days look like for you? Gosh, there's going to be a lot of campaigning. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know, I'm a marathoner, and so yes. I've been talking about this with my team, that a marathon is a long, long race, but when you can see the finish line, you should speed up. Even if you're in pain and if it hurts, you speed up to get across that finish line, and that's what we're doing right now. We're speeding up. We're working our very hardest to get across that finish line. We are, advice, like we said, this is a historic election, and right. yeah, we're anxious to see how it all turns out. Thank you so much yeah. for your time. Thanks so Here's much. Really Thank appreciate you for coming in. Guys. We appreciate it. Good you. luck. Thanks. All right, still ahead on 12 Today, head on over and do a little honky-tonk, and how about that? How you can get your country fixed right here in Arizona. As a former prosecutor, I've fought on the front lines to stop human trafficking. When I heard about Kirsten Cinema taking these donations, I was disgusted. Websites like Backpage enable the sex trafficking of kids right here in Arizona. Kirsten Cinema only gave away the donations after she got caught. That's not good enough. Kirsten Cinema put politics and money over the safety of our kids. NRSC is responsible for the content of this advertising. New TheraFlu Power Pods, the cold and flu fighting machine you put in your machine. Press the button to brew up powerful relief. 
to defeat your toughest cold and flu symptoms fast. New TheraFlu Power Pods. Press, sip, relief. Believe in a brighter future. Believe in the youth in you. Advanced Genifique by Longcomb. A new consumer study shows women saw efficacy day after day, month after month, on major signs of youthful looking skin. You will shine every day. It will light up your life. Believe in a brighter future. Believe in a brighter future. Advanced Genifique, the serum that makes your future brighter. Longcomb. Customize your free gift worth up to $128. Now available at Dillard's. Have you noticed everything has a day? For instance, January 21st is National Hugging Day. But anyone can give a hug. Even this guy, he gives great hugs. But you, you do way more than give hugs. You care for your kids, your parents, and even the guy across the street who waves a lot. And AARP is here to help, connecting you with the tools you need to navigate the realities of caregiving. Think of it as one big hug. Take on today and every day with AARP. 12 News is everything Arizona, taking you everywhere from A to Z. Cape Creek is a friendly town featuring great restaurants, biking and hiking, a taste of the Old West with totally unique shopping destinations. This week, 12 News is in Cape Creek. Rare Earth Gallery is probably one of the most unique stores on the planet. Wayne Helfand, owner of Rare Earth Gallery and purveyor of the earth. From the gems and the minerals and the rocks to our 50 cases of jewelry, there is something for everyone from A to Z. They've reported from around the world, challenged the powerful, and they bring all of this to every story that touches your heart. Don't you get tired sometimes of always being strong? You have to forgive others for you to be forgiven. Arizona, and we are taking you everywhere from A to Z all this week. We are checking out the best of Cave Creek and Carefree. And this morning, we are going to one of Arizona's most iconic bars. Team 12's Brandon Hamilton shows us a honky-tonk time at Harold's Corral Restaurant in Cave Creek. Cave Creek is home to a number of honky-tonk western bars, but the one with the most tradition is Harold's Corral. <laughs> It all started in 1935 when Johnny Walker opened the Corral Bar. So it was a beer stand back then selling A1 beer, but they'd get the workers building the dams, come out here on the weekends, and they'd have the radio blast on our cars and crack some beers open. And it was a social point even back then. Then in 1950, Harold Gavigan bought it and turned it into Harold's Cave Creek Corral. He was a character with his uh, with Dick Van Dyke and then you could see him firing guns into the signs and the rowdy past and time worn traditions are still alive and well today. It's a place a family can come. It's a place you can have some great food and just enjoy your weekend and do some dance and listen to some great music. We're going to do some dancing. I have two left feet though, so this could be a problem. Okay. But what kind of dancing are we doing? We're doing country swing. Luckily, I have Daniel Rose here with Dance On AZ to give me a few pointers. So she spins, I spin, and then pull her hand up, hand down. Just let her do it. Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, there we go. Yes. Back step. Wow. Back step. That awesome. is amazing. Enjoy the dancing, the great food, and the Wild West fun and tradition. But there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Pittsburgh Steelers all over the walls. We are known as Heinz Field West, the number one Steeler bar. Got letters from the Rooney, so it's a nice dynamic part of our business. Whether you are a Steelers fan or not, Harold's Corral is a must see in Cave Creek. Brandon Hamilton, 12 News. Trisha Hendricks even says, I know, she great says it's, time. It's the bomb out there. <laughs> can dance that line dance too, huh? Can we do the two step? <laughs> <laughs> I am in. All right, let's reveal the answer to our juicy question of the morning. A recent online poll found that 33% of people have committed this crime at fast food restaurants. Almost everyone saying either you share the fountain drink or you buy water and instead you get soda. That was Vicki and Gilbert. That's what she had to say. Any other guesses, guys? Oh. 
I like the taking extra condiments that Everybody you need knows. and then taking oh, them back yeah. to the office. A ketchup yeah, and a that's napkin thief, mine. apparently. <laughs> I swear, <laughs> Justin also says fill in your water. <gasps> there the water it is. is. You guys had it right. Oh, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> You've done I it. sometimes do it with my kids. <laughs> you know, here, I did that one time, but it was... Here's why I, had, I rationalized it. Okay, they, here we they go. They totally forgot my fries, like something else was missing. And then <laughs> like I, somehow I had a water and I'm like, you know what? I'm getting a back. I'm getting a real soda. <laughs> he secretly goes Takes up revenge. there. Getting revenge. Yeah, it was, it was total revenge. Yes. <laughs> See, I want my kids to drink water, but then I'll put like a dash of high C in it so it yes. looks yes. like something That's else. So I do that funny. too. I put a little I splash of lemonade. I'm like, Does that count? I don't know, but I always feel it's guilty. Like, I'm like, two yeah. cents, right? Yeah. Okay. There's police officers outside. <laughs> I'm waiting for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still ahead on 12 today. A big day for Meghan McCain. More than a month after her death, her father's death, she is getting back on the horse. Jen, what's going on in the weather? Oh man, we have great weather to kick off the week. Plus, we're talking about more rain on the way. We'll have the details coming up. Good morning. Coming up on today, what we are now learning about that horrific limousine crash in upstate New York, the deadliest in the U.S. in nearly a decade. Plus, the new questions it's raising about limo safety nationwide. Also ahead, millions in the South bracing for what is expected to become Hurricane Michael, a state of emergency declared in Florida. Dylan has the track and the timing of that storm. All that plus, what happened when Savannah got a rock climbing lesson from the world's most famous rock climber? And new kids on the block will be here with a big announcement about their future and some surprise guests when we see you guys a little later right here on Today. My family struggled when I was growing up, but access to good schools transformed my life. And I want all Phoenix students to have that same opportunity. On the City Council, I created a program to offer free coding and robotics classes to all Phoenix students, as well as spearheaded the effort to make sure every third grader can read and I will continue to support Phoenix schools, teachers, and students as your next mayor. My name is Daniel Valenzuela, candidate for mayor of Phoenix, and I approve this message. I'm Kirsten Cinema, and I approve this message. It's been declared morally bankrupt, the disgraceful campaign for Martha McSally. Now it turns out McSally could bankrupt your Medicare, too. After campaign promises to protect it, Martha McSally actually voted to cut our Medicare. And even voted to turn it into a voucher system, which the Wall Street Journal confirmed would essentially end Medicare. It's true. Martha McSally, if she'll lie about our Medicare, she will lie about anything. Live horse racing returns to Arizona at Turf Paradise on opening day, Saturday, October 13th. Watch, wager, and win on a full card of live horse racing. Free t-shirts for the first 5,000 paid admissions, plus live music and a kid's fun park with bounce house inflatables. Opening day will also honor our veterans, Native American veterans, and first responders. Gates open at 11 a.m. The first post time is 12.55. Grandstand admission is $3 and general parking is free. Turf Paradise opening day, Saturday, October 13th at 19th Ave and Bell. Today, the economy is strong, but the politicians are looking for more money. They want to impose a new tax on you, and they're going to do it by taxing veterinary services, health care, child care, and every service they can find. If they have their way, it will cost you more every day and could stall the economy and hurt small businesses. Protect yourself. Vote yes on 126. Vote yes on 126. Protect Arizona taxpayers. Hi, I'm Tiger. And I'm freezing. Why is that? Panda's Orange Chicken is made with frozen processed dark meat, so I spend a lot of time in walk-in freezers. Really? Because Payway's Way Better Orange Chicken is made with fresh, house-cut, all-white meat chicken. Real orange slices. And it's made fresh to order. It's never frozen. I can't feel my face. Payway's Way Better Orange Chicken. Taste the fresh difference for just five bucks. Payway. Mm -hmm. Asian done a better way. You should sit under one of your heat lamps. Illicit drugs rip the fabric of our communities. Too many lives and families are being crushed by heroin and the thugs that bring this poison to our communities. It's time for toughness and resolve. In Congress, I've led the fight to secure the border. We need to crack down on drug cartels and stop the flow of heroin and fentanyl across our border and into our neighborhoods. As your senator, I'll be a warrior against the cartels and the opioid epidemic. I'm Martha McSally and I approve this message.
my wife's gotten me in the country a little bit, so kind of, I'm, I, I dig it now. Yeah. Well, what you'll dig is our after show, too, on Facebook Live. Please join us right at 7.30. If you don't have Facebook, where you've been? All right, you've, you've got to join us on Facebook. We're going to talk about a subject we've been talking about all morning. Yeah. What do you do in a fast food restaurant that could be considered stealing? We've determined that I like to take way too many napkins, perhaps too much ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're it's not really stealing. We're copping to a lot of stuff this morning. We I think totally I need to keep have. my mouth shut. We, we want to know what you've done at uh, your fast food restaurant. But a lot of people take the soda when they were supposed to get water. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Guilty. 651. Yeah. Not, not often, Trisha. Just to fool my kids that they're you know, drinking lemonade instead of water. Like Mike said, the police officers outside yeah, waiting for you. Out for arrest. <laughs> All right, it probably costs about five cents, right? You'll make up for it. All right, so on our traffic story, things are looking pretty good. So the 51 all clear, yeah. but the 17, we are starting to see some delays here. We also have a crash working. This is off of one, this is 19th Avenue actually, between Madison and Buchanan. So that's why we're starting to see that build up around the Durango curve. So the red meaning drivers are putting on the brakes below 25 miles per hour, unfortunately, because that is one of the busier spots on our map. We also have a traffic signal that's out, and this is at Loop 101 at Via de Ventura, also a busy spot this time of the morning especially. So you're going to want to watch out for that one as well. Maybe uh, jump off the freeway, take some surface streets to get around that cactus between 33rd and 37th avenues all of those restrictions due to a big sinkhole so taking a look at the east valley this is a, the nice spot of the morning it looks like all the traffic on the red mountain and santan 202 60 up to speed i can't get over this picture it is so gorgeous jen it looks like it's pretty dry out there. Yeah, it is nice and dry across the valley. Thanks for that beautiful sunrise shot. We're giving you another angle here across Phoenix with the mountains in the background. Just a gorgeous morning. Nice and cool waking up. 59 in Phoenix, 56 Casa Grande. We're freezing in Greer. A few degrees warmer than that in Sholo. Very cold this morning. Flagstaff here in Canyon and off to the west. We're at 60 in Yuma, 59 this morning in Parker. So just a very comfortable fall day in the forecast here for Phoenix. Very unlike what we usually get to deal with. A few light showers are northeast of the valley, south of Flagstaff. Some light snow falling, but that's starting to dry up throughout the morning and that all staying above about 7,500 feet. Rain totals from yesterday, a little more than a tenth of an inch in Phoenix, two tenths of an inch in Scottsdale, a little bit less for Peoria surprise, about two tenths of an inch in Avondale. So that was early Sunday morning when those storms rolled through. Future cast here by tonight, we could see some light rain across the valley. Flagstaff, maybe the highest peaks getting some snow. Northeastern Arizona staying wet, stretching all the way to New Mexico. Then by Tuesday, we're drying out for the most part, except for eastern Arizona. Wednesday much of the state is dry and then those storms are expected to return more tropical moisture coming in by Thursday and Friday. Wondering if this is normal for Arizona this time of year? No, absolutely not. We should be at 92. So we are just so thankful. Our daytime high only 77 today in the valley. 79 Gila Bend, 74 Casa Grande, 64 Globe, 54 Pace and upper 40s. Not even expected to get into the 50s today for Sholo. So it looks like we'll stay with partly sunny skies today. That very slight chance for storms later. And then we hit the 80s by Wednesday. We cool it back down Friday with more rain on the way into the early start of the weekend. I mean, that's an entire week basically in the 70s. Nice. It's incredible. <laughs> and this morning we asked you what do you think of this snow in early October? Do you love it? Maybe think it's too soon? Did it even snow or snowball bite? And so far, look at all of you. Love it, and it's hard not to love. This is a treat for everyone in Arizona. Six inches yeah, at Snowball. It's been nice. Oh, it's so this great. It's great. I just love our emojis. <laughs> right? All right. All right, let's grab your 12 news to go before you head out the door. It's the nation's worst road accident in nearly a decade. 20 people were killed when a limo crashed in upstate New York Saturday. Investigators say the limo carrying 18 people ran a stop sign before hitting a car and slamming into and killing two pedestrians. The NTSB is on the scene this morning. The Today Show will have the very latest developments in just a few minutes. 26 counties in Florida are under a state of emergency this morning as Tropical Storm Michael picks up speed. It could become a hurricane later on today. 
The storm is expected to make landfall on Wednesday. Justice Brett Kavanaugh will have a formal public swearing in ceremony at the White House today. He was privately sworn in on Saturday, just hours after a 50 to 48 confirmation vote in the Senate. Kavanaugh will begin hearing cases this week. Meghan McCain returns to The View today, more than a month after her father's death. She announced the news in a tweet last week, you're seeing it right here, saying, it's not about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. And today is Columbus Day, but not all cities will be celebrating. Many have actually dropped Columbus Day to honor Native groups. Instead, critics of Columbus Day say it embraces Western colonialism. The 2018 midterm election, believe it or not, less than a month away, and then all those political ads on your television will go away. You have one <laughs> more day to register to vote, just one. And there are easy ways that you can do it right now from the comfort of your own home. We have more details on how to register. All you gotta do, go to 12news.com. Early ballots will be mailed to voters. That starts on Wednesday, so be on the lookout. Yeah, a lot of people won't miss all the ads. Yeah. Well, did you see a strange light in the sky last night? Take a look. It was a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket that boosted an environmental satellite into orbit. This was the first time the rocket returned to land back in California. And that they're planning to reuse it. Unbel unbelievable technology still blows my mind. I know that they were just putting things into space, but can you yeah. imagine putting someone on a rocket yeah. that they've already used? <laughs> you get the used one. Imagine spending <laughs> $1.4 million on a piece of art, only to watch it self-destruct oh. moments later. That's what happened to one art buyer who purchased street artist Banksy's famous girl with a balloon. I'm sure you've seen it. Banksy rigged the frame to shred the piece oh. on command. What? The auction house is talking about the next steps with the buyer. What do you do now? Oh. <laughs> art experts suggest the work could actually be worth more in the shredded state. Now, a lot of okay. people know Banksy to be okay. odd different but to do that after selling it for 1.4 million dollars i just can't imagine i'm thinking uh, if i was the buyer as you're watching that you'd just be like uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you might as well just <laughs> no. put the money in there yeah, right i mean throw uh, yeah throw it in a fire Boy, that is very odd. All right, takeaways from this morning. We want to say thank you to Kirsten Cinema, yeah. who, of course, is the Democratic candidate going for the Senate seat. Uh, thank you to her and her camp for coming in this morning and for answering your questions. We talked about immigration. We talked about health care. We also talked about how divisive this campaign has been, you know, going up against Martha McSally. Yeah, it has it sure been. Has. Sometimes those ads are hard to watch. And some of the things that she said, we'll post the full interview for you on 12news.com. All right, thanks for putting your trust in us. And remember, 12 News is always on, so go to 12 news.com follow us on facebook twitter instagram after shows at 7 30 everyone enjoy your day and enjoy the today show thanks for watching arizona's most watched station emmy winner for best morning newscast and everything arizona just a few years ago, Arizona had a $1 billion budget deficit. Today, the budget is balanced. Red tape eliminated. Major employers are coming to all parts of Arizona. We've created hundreds of thousands of new jobs, and Arizona's unemployment rate is the lowest in a decade. The border is more secure, and our families are safer. We've done all this without raising taxes. A booming economy, a more secure border, a stronger Arizona. While APS raised your rates and fees, they spent over $400,000 to elect Mark Burnovich Attorney General. So when Prop 127, the clean energy ballot measure, threatened APS's profits, Burnovich bailed them out. Manipulating the wording on the clean energy ballot initiative in favor of APS. Arizona's top election officials called it eyebrow raising. You can call it corrupt.